Uh, welcome everyone to um, you know the Open Mark and AM Academy uh, presents JC selection and subject combination. And um, yeah, this is what we'll be talking about today. If you have any questions, you know, feel free to put them in the chat. We'll try and reply them as and when, right? Or we have a QA session right at the end of this call. And you're happy to stay on the call as long as you need to answer all your questions. Yeah. Okay, so today we'll be going through, I think that first, you know, just a round of introductions. And then Max will be taking us through um, factors to consider when selecting your JCs. And then we'll be going through each and every JC, right? What are the, I guess, pros and not so pro, like, you know, not so good points of each, each of them. And the I think the special part about this is that uh, we actually did a survey sort of, and the answers um, that we got is directly from the students who are currently in the schools and um, so you have a like very real-time um, like sort of view of like what is happening in the school right and then after that we'll be talking a bit about subject combinations uh, which is something that you definitely need to start thinking about and then we will leave the last 10 minutes or so for the Q&A all right so before we begin, introductions. My name is Charlene and I am the H2 Math Tutor for Overmark. Um, I recently graduated from NUS. I studied engineering there. Um, and when I was in JC, I was actually from SAJC and I did a subject combi combination of PCME. So physics, chem, math, and H1 econs. Yeah. And I will leave Max to introduce himself. Oh, yes. Okay. Yeah. Wow. This picture. Okay. Anyway. anyway uh, yeah. Hi, everyone. I'm Max. I am uh, teaching H2F at AM Academy. It's uh, somewhere in East Coast. Uh. Yeah. So I, I went to SEJC um, and I took PCME. Uh, so uh, I changed class actually like quite a few times. So I kind of went through like three combis, uh, three different combis. So uh, we explain more on what the combis are later. Uh, but yeah. So uh, yeah, that's, yeah, that's what I have to say. Uh. Okay. Yeah. All right. Let's. Move on. Okay, factors to consider, Max. Okay, yeah. So um, personally, for me, I, I think uh, what I was mainly looking at when I was considering a JC was like whether it's going to be like uh, fun, first of all. Like, I mean, definitely I want to enjoy my JC period. Lah. Uh, so culture, fun, all that is like under one thing. Then also the academic side of things. Uh, so like uh, how like the, the environment in which uh, your like, the school allows you to study, like, how well it is, right? Everything. So those are the two main things, like basic fun and academics. Uh. So I wanted to kind of have a good balance of those two. Uh, yeah. So I just went wherever wherever my results uh, allowed me to. Like. And also one more thing I think important is like if you have a lot of friends going to a particular school, right? Then there's a very high chance that you would, might enjoy the school more. That's what I feel because uh, a lot of my friends actually went to SCJC. Then uh, I, I was like, okay, la, never mind. I just go to SCJC. Then yeah, I actually really enjoyed it. Because the first day, right? And everyone like, orientation uh, then like i can go around everywhere then just talk to them uh, then yeah not so good so if you go to a school with like no one there uh, then like no one you know uh, then the first thing you just like you can't do anything uh, yeah so that is i think one other big factor so yeah so friends uh academics and uh culture fun kind of uh, those are the three main things uh yeah so um i traveling time i was as in, it's important, but I think the JCs that I was considering are at least, so my choices were VJC and SCJC. I stay in the East, uh, so uh, I think it was like, the traveling time wasn't that big of a difference, right, for me. Uh, so that wasn't a uh, big consideration for me. But if let's say you are considering like, you stay in the East, then you have to go to JPJC. Uh, then around maybe you might want to think, uh, think a bit more uh, about it. Yeah, mm -hmm. so uh, yeah, how about uh, Shelin, what, what about you? Yeah, so I actually chose um SA right solely based off traveling time because I love sleeping. Um and my house is like a stone's throw away from SA. I take literally like 15 minutes to get to school. So school will start at like 7:40, right? I'll wake up at 7 o'clock and just like get ready and be able to take my time, then walk and then take the bus, and then I'll reach school already. Yeah, just in time. Yeah, um, I think in terms of school culture, that definitely played a part. Heard a lot of great things about SA, and I was generally very excited. I didn't really consider the CCA, to be very honest. I feel like wherever you go, there's about the same CCAs, right? Um, but maybe if you're super passionate in one of the CCAs, like maybe floorball, I don't know, right? I'm not a sports person, so um, yeah, maybe you want to consider that when you're making your choice, like maybe 
for instance, throwing it out there, I'm not sure this is not a fact. Like VJ is very good at floorball and then you want to specifically join the VJ floorball team. That's something that you might want to consider. Yeah, but um, I think definitely because ultimately at the end of the day, A-levels is one of the most important exams that you'll be taking, right? Um, do have a good thing about the subjects that each school gives, like provides to students to take. And like there's... I mean, you can sort of read the reviews yourself, right? Certain schools um, are able to teach like certain subjects maybe a bit better than others. So that's something to take into consideration as well. Yeah? All right. I think we can move on. Okay, sure. Breakdown okay. of JCs. Yeah, so uh, I think this is just basically like more of the cutoff points for all the JCs. Uh. So mm-hmm. based on your O-level score, uh, you, of course the net score, you can just look at all these cutoff points, right? So if I'm not, yeah, science art. Lah. So the first, every JC has two scores, right? It's, uh, the left one is the science one, the right one is the arts one. Lah. So uh, usually, the, I mean, there are tiers for JCs. Uh, like usually we, there's like, uh, what's what the highest tier called? Is it called like just top tier, top five, is it? Mm, I think it's just their cutoff point is less than six, uh, uh, it's less than eight, sorry. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, but I, I, I do have like a common, ref- like I refer to them as like top five and then mid tier and then like, yeah, like the last, the last one. Yeah, okay, uh, yeah, but these are the cutoff points for JC. So I, I'm sure you all have like taken a look at roughly your level score, where can it get you? Lah? Yeah, so I think that's, that's all this, yeah, this is about. Lah. Mm, so this is just an mm. overview. We're definitely going to go more in depth, right, into each JC um, along the way. So I think we can just dive into that, right? Mm. Um, yeah, but if you need this overview, then just have a rough look. Um, and yeah, so the following opinions are provided my students themselves and we'll paint like a bit of colors about what we heard from you know our friends who are from different JCs. But just keep in mind that Max and I are both from SA, so um we will have like a lot of opinions, right, about SA itself. But like other than that, yeah, <laughs> we'll be sharing more about um, the other JCs uh, very briefly. Okay. So the first yeah. school is Anderson Serangoon JC, cut off point about eight nine. Um And some of the great things, right, that students have said about the JC is that it allows, it allowed them to practice more independence, um, a lot of freedom, taking charge of like their own studies, their CCA, etc. Then lets them explore different, um, I guess, science and art related activities. Um, and it's pretty good food there if you, you know, that's one of your top priorities and the food is affordable, which definitely is important. And the teachers are friendly and willing to help. Yeah. So especially during consultations, and that's something that you'll find is a theme in JC, right? Um, always want to go for consultations with like teachers just to get like um, some advice or help that help yourself like do like questions and stuff like that. Yeah. But what are some areas that as... I guess Anderson Serangoon JC can do better in. Um, planning the yearly schedule. Sometimes it's a bit um, messy and then causes them a bit of stress. And the campus isn't the best because it's quite old. Um, and in terms of um, notes for lectures, maybe some of them can be a bit more refined. Yeah, Max, have you heard anything? Uh, about- oh, sorry, I think someone in the chat says there's an error in the car for ESR, is it? Oh, is that true? Let's, let's go back and check. This was updated, I think, a while back. ASR oh, yes, 11, that's 11. true. Um, oh, yeah, sorry. Yes. Thank you for pointing it, that out. I think Xiao Jie. Um, ASRJC is 1111. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, Max, have you heard anything about ASRJC? ASRJC, yeah. Okay, actually, uh, I not really a lot. I So far, I'm, I only know like four people from ASRJC. Lah. Um, it, yeah, I didn't really hear a lot about this JC, lah, but uh, I think... Mm, yeah, not much actually. <laughs> okay, no worries. I think personally, um, the impression I've always had on like Anderson JC actually la, because in my time they haven't combined the JCs yet. So um yeah, maybe a bit a bit off, right? Um, but I always hear that the H2 math paper is very difficult. Oh shit. Um, um and yeah, and I had a friend who went to Anderson JC. And um, she actually said like there were people who like cried like after the math paper, for instance. After but obviously, that? yeah. But obviously, that's like a really long time ago, right? Um, and I, I don't know what's the situation now. But yeah, okay. Maybe we move on to the next. School. Uh, where is this school? Uh, by the way, yes, uh, yes. Uh, uh, okay. I think they are using the Anderson compound. 
if I'm not wrong. Which is okay. Let's go and see where this school is in the film. Oh, someone is like Angukyo, yeah. Oh, Angukyo. So if you live in the central area, might oh, be a good choice for you. Yeah, yeah it's really a Jukang and Mati, so yeah, hmm. right below. Mm. Yeah. Okay. I think yeah. I think yeah, that's a good point. Like your JC being near uh I guess central, maybe bus stop or MRT is like I think quite important as well, right? Accessibility and oh, whatnot. It's very, very shook, like, you can wake up really. <laughs> yeah. Yes, totally agree. I think All some right. JCs they have uh-huh. uh late days, right? Like uh I'm not sure about ASR, but SA uh when doing my best to be like late days. So some days, like I think like the whole week or five days, like one day they'll have like one day you can come later. Like 8 30 or that. Yeah. Like one oh. hour later than the normal time. Uh. Oh, I never I think they still that. have it now. Yeah. I think they still have it now. Because yeah, I think they just want to sleep more or something. Uh. Interesting. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I'm so lucky I never had that. And I, I hear that some schools have like uh, home based learning as well and stuff. Uh, that is COVID, I think. Oh, COVID. Yeah, la, yeah. La. Okay. Uh, ACJC. Oh, ACJC, yes. Wow, yeah. Three upon 10. Uh. Sorry. Oh, Sound like some of the ratings, yeah. right? So, yeah, if you see at the top here, these are like some of the ratings given by students. So, for ACJC, a bit of a wide variety, right? Like three to yeah. nine. Yeah, but um, I think at the end of the day, your JC experience is really what you make of it, right? Um, this is just people's opinions, and like your experience might vary, very, very vastly from whatever they have shared, lah. Yeah. Okay, so Max, wanna take us through what are some of the great things about AC? Oh, AC JC. Yeah. Okay. So uh, yeah, the students surveys, right? That I mean, they they said that the teachers are like quite supportive, right? Very supportive, lah. In fact, and uh. Yeah, then they are, I mean, everyone is really friendly there. Um, okay, personally, yeah, from uh, what I see, like my batch and my students, right, I think ACJC has like a, a very like uh, fun crowd. Lah. So, so like uh, the, the, the culture there is a lot of like, okay, like, not, not, not playing, lah, like they don't step off, lah, but it's just like more fun, like very, very fun. They, they have a lot of fun there, yeah. So uh, it's AC and SA, lah. these two are the schools that I noticed that like have more, um, that, that vibe like you get I mean do you, what, what do you think of that Charlene mm, yeah I think in general even the uniform right like AC and SA uniform looks uniform. very similar like a lot of people always think of AC and SA together and like the vibes definitely very very similar Um, and I mean I have quite a few friends who went to AC Um, and I, I think the school spirit is very strong in general Um, and their teachers seem to be very involved uh, very like supportive of them um, I, I think something to take note is more of like the CCA sometimes can get very hectic from what I heard from my friends as well right they were very involved in CCA because the school's culture is like so the school spirit is so strong right so everyone is super involved in CCA sometimes it can get um, quite crazy like the schedule but um, other than that let's see what the students had to say right um, some of them said that a lot of classes are not really that bonded. Okay, I think I think maybe I'm not sure, right? Maybe that's for just one or two um people. Um, but something to note is that there's not a lot of spaces to study at in the school, and maybe it's not the cleanest. Um, and some people even said that the math department isn't that great in yeah, in ACJC. I, yeah. I think the ACJC, the I think they are like the CCS are some of them are quite strong, right? If I'm not wrong. Yeah, like rugby, I guess. Rugby, yeah, rugby is much And uh, is canoeing for ACGC. I think canoeing for ACGC is not bad. Oh, their dance is also, like, their dance culture is also very, like, um, hectic, I think. Like, or very lively. Um, They have a lot of, like, concerts and stuff. My friend was from dance at AC. Yeah. yeah I, I also I have would... a student who is in dance in AC now, actually. And she has, like, CCA three times a week. Oh, and, I'm like, still in canoeing, sorry. I'm still in canoeing, like, uh, her one is four times a week, right? I think go get even more. We have wow. to schedule with her. Yeah. So, Intense. Yeah, but I I think the thing that I really love about AC is uh the school spirit. Like like everyone is like they are very proud to be in AC. Like when I go to like when I look at like the ADF like the stadium right, and they're there, then they're like all cheering on their school like very uh like very loud lah. How the, yeah, mm. the school spirit lah is really there. Yeah. yeah, and they're always like, I bleed red, blue, and gold, you know, because those are like their school colors, which I always butter. find quite funny. <laughs> it, yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, let's move on. Next, JC. CJC. CJC, wow. All right, so the ratings also vary here, like from a two to an eight. 
um, cutoff point is 13. Do you have any, I guess, students in CG now? Next? Yeah, I do. Actually, well, I from the past, like I, quite a few people, uh, quite a few students from CG la, and I also have a lot of friends from CG. Hmm, what's yeah, the experience then, like? Uh, I think the experience is mostly like very fun. Oh. They didn't really talk much to me about the academic side of things, uh, but they just like they had a lot of fun. Mm. Yeah. yeah. I have yeah, I have a student in CJ as well, and like my cousins were actually from CJ. I think my cousin was in like Frisbee, like they were both in Frisbee and they super loved like their CCA, right? They will go and like um attend sessions on weekends as well. So that was interesting. Mm. Oh CJ, but I think a lot of my friends like uh Okay, I just like they uh, not not a very big hand for them were doing very well academically. Yeah, but I, I think for, along the way in GC2 they managed to catch up and, mm. and yeah. So I think uh okay, honestly speaking, I I, I would say that um those that are more disciplined la, would like do better. Mm. You, you have to because um okay, I this this school um I think it's quite popular because uh, it's affiliated right to a lot of schools. Uh, I think so. You have yeah, yeah, school, yeah. School. Many IJ girls um end up in CJ uh, because um school. yeah affiliated, yeah. And um, I think something something else I heard about the school actually is that the arts education like um is very good. The arts education. Oh yeah, I I do have like arts, Apparently, the arts teachers are very good. Well, I, I didn't really talk to that friend about arts, uh, but mm, okay. Yeah, like, okay, like, even one of the feedback that uh, we got from the students, right, was, like, um, teachers in the art stream are great, and if you're thinking of taking lit, CJ lit teachers are really, really good. Yeah, and um, I think in general, the school has nice and understanding teachers, um, but can be a little strict in terms of, like, heading in your work and stuff like that, right? But in a sense, it forces you to do your work. I think, actually, Max, I don't know what you think, right, but I feel like that's a common theme in um JC, right? That if you are more disciplined, you know, like yeah, you, you have to be very consistent in order to do well. Mm-hmm. Um, if not honestly, it's very difficult because the I, two uh, years who are jam-packed with information, man. Yeah, okay. I see. Yeah. Any I guess any more stories to share about CJ? CJ, yeah, let me think. Uh, uh stories about CJ. <laughs> okay, uh, I mean oh, mm. uh, are you saying? No, I was gonna say famous person from CJ. I think Saffron Sharp was from CJ. Oh yeah, Saffron Sharp from CJ. She's in uh <laughs> Emmanuel's batch. Oh, is it interesting? Yeah, yeah. I think so. I think so. I think so. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But CJ, I think it's just a very very fun school lah. Uh, I see the people that go there. They have really a lot of fun. Like wow, they enjoy mm-hmm. it a lot lah. Yeah, and they have they are very close to all their friends and kids and everything. And their classes is all like really just like, uh, they like to mess around a lot in school lah. Yeah. This is this from the students and uh uh all my, my friends from that from that school. Uh. Mm, okay. Yeah. I think the CJ uniform is like quite nice as well. It's like blue, a bit different from the normal like SAAC like aesthetic. And uh, I think something to note is also that CJ is kind of Ulu, I would say. You have to take a bus in, I think. It's not uh, exactly near any MRT, if I'm yeah. not wrong. Uh. But actually, yeah. I think it's quite easy to get there though. Uh, CJ, uh, is in the middle of the expressway, so like um, there is there is a few very uh, there is a few buses that come from a lot of locations uh, like nine six six. If anyone has that near the house, nine eight five. These two are the main ones uh. Nine eight five goes to the west, and uh, nine six six goes to east and Woodlands and Bukit Panjang. So, I think those two buses like help a lot lah. Uh, you know, to get mm. to yeah. Yeah, there right. other buses that go to the town to town also, but I, no, I don't think a lot of people stay there. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's that's super useful information. If you live in like um the central, like maybe around Topayo as well, right? CJ is super near Topayo. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. Okay, let's move on. Dunman High. High. Alright, we only got one rating for this. Um, and the cut off point is about eight or nine. Um what are some of the great things about your JC? Great teachers, don't hesitate to give consults. Um, bonding between the students. And then what are the areas you think your JC can do better? Have less breaks between periods. Well, this, uh, this is the first time I hear like people wanting less breaks. But yeah, and have a less competitive environment. Maybe yeah. I think they meant like two little break between periods. 
Yeah, maybe. Oh, uh, yeah, maybe, maybe, yeah, perhaps. No, but I think they want less breaks between. Oh, I want less breaks, ah. Why would you want less breaks, ah? Maybe they want their day to end earlier. I'm not sure. I don't know. I think breaks like the most fun time the whole the whole day. Yeah. <laughs> Just go mess around with your friends. Yeah, but uh, so Shelly, do you have any like students from Dharma High that like that uh, you notice like they share the experience with you or anything? Hmm, I think in general, because Dunman High is a bit special, it's like an IP school, right? Yeah, kind yeah, of, like, like, a lot of the population is from IP. Yeah, so it's like, some of the students come from, um, all the way from year one, then they take all the way until year six, right? I think a lot so of in them, that sense, Yeah, so in that sense, sometimes um, I had a friend who went in, and she felt like, you know, like there was a bit of a segregation at the start, but it got much better after they all went into like their own classes and had time to bond with each other. So that's just something to keep in mind. Uh. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, but uh, I think my actually I have a few students Dharma High and I think they told me that uh they don't really notice any like um so if those JE people want to consider going Dharma High, right? Uh the segregation between the IP and JE uh, is actually not that much. Okay, according to them. Yeah. And I okay, this one is what I noticed uh, about their, their school is one thing I like about them is that um I think their school kind of like promotes a lot of um they, they let the students take a lot of initiative. Mm. Uh, yeah, I I personally see my own students. They plan a lot of uh, events. Uh, like, uh, yeah, they, they the school allows them to take charge of a lot of things. I think actually student council. If you join this, generally it allows you to plan this kind of stuff. Uh, but mm. I do see more of this in Dharma High. Yeah, mm. yeah, they have a very strong school spirit, uh, Yeah, they they very patriotic ones. Really, I didn't uh, know. Yeah, yeah, just the truth. I think they all uh IP all the way on. So maybe that's why. Yeah, la, yeah la, true. As in not yeah. all, but like uh, most of them are IP all the way. So I think that helps yeah. a bit. La. Actually, before uh I eh, before I went to NS, right, I didn't know anyone from Damahai or Zero. It's uh, it's quite special la, because everyone IP, la. I mean most of them. La. Right, right. Yeah, it's, it's quite so like, only when you went NS, is it? Then you had uh, and they, yeah. oh, your NS friend, friends from Dunman? Uh yeah, one of them are uh, like NS you really meet every, everywhere, uh, people come from everywhere, then just yeah. I see. Interesting. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I don't have much like students um from Danman. Yeah. I think more from River Valley, but I think hmm, we'll get to that later. <laughs> uh, but Danman, I think the uh, I've seen the at least for H2F, but I think it applies a rest of subject also. Uh Danman papers can be the prelim paper especially can be quite uh difficult. Uh. What, oh. what do you think? Right. I, I've, I've, I see the way they set the question is like hmm. uh, quite what do you think, uh, um, Max? Just curious. I think I always feel like the VJ paper is like one of the easiest. Uh, yeah, VJ is easier. Right, for H2 yeah. math. I feel like they set it closer to like A-level standard. Uh, A-levels are a bit different. Like. I feel the A-level questions are very weird. Yeah, but yeah, okay. <laughs> Can discuss that yeah, that's, that's another that's another yeah. topic for another we only day. Had D. Okay. We only had D because we're schools. Yeah, okay, let's move on. Let's move okay, on. Yeah, let's go. You know what, JC? Okay, special okay, special shout out, right? Because I'm from Sandix, right? So Sandix is actually affiliated to you know what, JC. Yeah. With I think Cat High, if I'm not wrong. I can't really remember. Or like yeah, okay, S- okay. is it SCGS as well? Mm, well or I'm is it Sida? Uh no, Sida is VJ. Oh, okay, okay. Then I, I think, think it's SCGS, yeah. I think this is part of like the IP program or something like that, right? Um, and okay, I don't know much about it because they only they only like founded this school after I left, okay, or, or, or in my last few years or something. Uh, but what are some of the great things about you know what? House culture. Um, and they have a great environment to study in, a lot of friendly peers. I think in general, like in JC, when you have friends to like go through it with right or go through yeah go through it with um it makes things much easier and honestly more fun because you spend a lot of time in school during JC period. Um yeah and they have I mean it's a pretty new campus so I, I guess it's still relatively clean and well well kept up right with it. Um student voice is a priority and they make changes yearly based on that. Wow that sounds super special um and yeah nearby a park so if anyone loves nature you know it might be a good choice for you what are some of the areas um you know i can do better um they want more dress down days and more aircon rooms Max, you got any friends from you know jc or hey but well, very little so you know it's a new jc then uh yeah i'm not i my social circle doesn't really cross over to you know your side lah Hmm. Uh, but I've seen the campus before uh, then I was looking at it uh, I didn't even know it's a JC you know you, okay, there's a picture here for you to see but I think it's very near to uh, Bishan Park I think it's Bishan Park 
or lower pierce reservoir, something something like that. La. It's very yeah. near there, the area. Yeah. So I walked past here, I was looking at it, and I was like, how the hell is this a GC? But it looks so nice, you know. I mean, it's, it's new, la. I guess that's why. La. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah so, la, true. Yeah, but uh I, I think the the people that I know that went there, uh they did very well. La. I, I feel mm. that the school has a generally like more um very uh, it just feels very disciplined. La. Everyone, mm. everyone that I know from there, they are very like self-driven disciplined. There. Yeah. Hmm, maybe it's the culture also. Sometimes yeah, like when so. the people around you are very disciplined, then it sort of forces you to be like more disciplined as well. Mm, yeah, I guess. Mm. Okay. I guess it differs from batch to batch. Yeah, okay. maybe. I, mm, okay. I honestly haven't heard much about you know JC from like friends or anything. Yeah. Me too. Okay. Okay. Watch on JC. Yeah, okay. Uh so what are some great things that the students said uh that the JC about Hua Chong uh, is that uh, everyone is really helpful, understanding and yeah, friendly towards one another in Hua Chong. Uh. Um I think I know a guy from Hua Chong. He yeah, he does have these traits that are very helpful and understanding and friendly. Okay, um yeah, support provider is great and not just for academics but also in CCA. Uh I I would say that the support they have there is very good. I called my friend, so he told me that the teachers, um, I mean, they always like, um, I think they prioritize students a lot. Like, like they were consultation wise, right? I think they they do have like uh how, how do I put this? Uh? It's just very yeah, they, they have a lot of consultations for students as well. Uh, yeah. And yeah, most classes have a good learning environment, not too cramped and have aircon. A lot of study tables around school. Uh, I see the campus, I think it's very, very, very big. Uh. The, I don't think the school has a shortage of any place to study. And it's very nice. So uh, my friend told me that he always, like, he loves to stay back and uh, study a lot in school. Uh, because mm. I mean, it's very nice. Uh. Yeah, um, but I think one thing he said about this uh, Hua Chong uh, is that around uh, is quite ulu. So if you have been to the Hua Chong area, it's along Bukit Timah Road. I think it's, it's called Danerian Dan- Street or something like that. Danerian Road, yeah. Mm. It's, uh, it's along there. Uh, then it's uh, Hua Chong, and then there's NJC, and then there's Nanyang Girls High. Mm, so the these three stretch. schools, uh, yeah, the whole stretch uh, is a very long road with nothing around it. Yeah, it's like, we, there's a train station there, I think it's Tankaki. Is it Tankaki? I think Tankaki, right? Mm, yeah, yeah, I think so. Yeah, so uh, the they say the usual hangout spot for them is uh, somewhere around King Albert Park. There's like small malls there. So that's mm. what that's what they told me. That's what he told me about the school. Uh. Yeah. Um. So yeah, actually every JC has a, like a usual hangout spot. Uh, and uh, I think Hua Chong one, I, I, when I heard him say that, uh, like it's around some small mall in King Albert Park. I was like, oh, okay. It, it can be more fun. Uh, yeah. But anyway, I think he had a lot here. Uh, I think the students there generally have a lot of, uh, like they enjoy the school a lot. Uh. Um, they, are, they, are, they have a lot of uh, school spirit. Okay. School, they are, they're proud to be in Hua Chong. Uh, this one. Yeah. Definitely. But it's, yeah. Four to five. Uh, it's very hard. Yeah. It's very hard to get it. I think my game is also very proud. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so uh, what are some areas that you the students wish that JC can do better is that the papers are too difficult. Uh, yeah, this one I think Hua Chong is quite self-explanatory. The papers are too difficult. Um, leaky rules and canteen queues. Uh, eh, wow, leaky rules. Uh, ooh, that's new. Mm. Okay, uh, yeah, and some teachers may want you to be more independent and may not guide you that much. So if you need more explanation, you need to look for a teacher yourself. Of course, teachers are good and will give you extra practices. So uh, yeah, I think... Um, this is one thing that he mentioned. My, my friend mentioned also from Hua Chong. Uh, he he really emphasized on how good the teachers are. Like, he can't say the teachers are damn good. Like, so generally in JC, the teachers are like they are like gods. Uh, like they, they have like a I don't know, like very master's degree in uh, they're teaching mm. chemistry, they got like master degree in like biochem and stuff. Thing. So uh they really know that stuff. Like, most uh most uh, yeah, I'll say most of them some of them uh they know that stuff, but maybe their delivery not so good, but um Nonetheless, you can still find them for consultation. So what uh I don't know whether you're in secondary school at consultation because uh secondary school I didn't really have that much of consultation. So if you are unfamiliar with this word, you can explain more on it later. Lah. Okay, but in JC the, the style is slightly different from secondary school, but not that much. So uh yeah, I think yeah, there's a lot more independent learning uh, which is uh what is uh, emphasized in what term because everyone is like wow, like yeah, four to five points. Uh. Mm. Yeah, and of course I think some is that the competition uh. so uh the environment the competitiveness uh, some people they they uh they like competition then they uh i mean it drives them to do better uh, but some people they break under competition so um it's a big fish and small pond thing uh, you know if you like to be the one that shines amongst your batch mates right then uh this school is well you really need to be like very very power uh. yeah that's how i feel because yeah this school is really everyone that is like super power like really like comes here uh, i feel 
Mm, yeah. yeah. It's, in general. Yeah, it, mm. yeah. I think My everyone not just not, not just like very smart, but mm. like also very hardworking, right? I have a yeah, few. Yeah. I think like one of my best friends actually went to Hong Kong and uh. um she's the kind like from sec one she already knew she wanna become a lawyer and then like wow. she wow like study very hard and then okay. yeah end up there yeah yeah okay mm. but it's very nice yeah. school uh. yeah I think the uniform is quite nice also in my opinion um uh. they have like neutral tones uh, I don't know uh, maybe maybe oh. guys don't care about it's like it beige, right? sorry is it, is it yeah, beige? yeah 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 like uh, beige right? beige beigeish yeah uh, it's but, quite nice actually I like it. Mm. Mm. Okay. okay. Let's go on to the next one. JPJC. All right. Um, is seven or eight. Upon three. Yeah. Yes. Um, so what are some of the great things? People are great, CCAs are bonded, food is yeah, like what you said, food Basin. is basin. <laughs> then people are able to bond through meaningful events, studying and working hard together. Then some areas of improvement. Um Discipline. I'm not too sure what this person means by discipline. Oh, uh, yeah, actually, uh, the, the, this, the guy that wrote discipline is my friend. But I do oh, get what is means. it? Yeah, I do get what it means. Uh, okay, um, the discipline side of JPJC. Uh, um, okay, la, so he told me a few stories from his school before, la, but um, I, I, I'm not going to say them here, but it's just, I think, uh, I mean, usually they like to have, uh, they like to play around a lot more. Like, uh, yeah, my, my friend, especially, is thick and everything. So, um, Wow, I, I, can I say this here? Yeah, I, th- I think it's just something that they... It just, if let's say you really want to like focus on studies a lot, like, uh, yeah, you, you just find the right, right uh, what do you call that? Uh, right group of friends, right, right company around you. Like. Mm-hmm. Of course, that being said, uh, the discipline, I guess they, you have stuff like uh, like being late for school, which I was guilty of like, a lot. Like. It's quite normal for everyone, like, I guess. Uh, actually, no, not normal. Please don't be late for school. Okay, yeah, but um, I think just... General disciplinary issues, right? Um, it may, yeah, it just it may just come out a bit more here. Yeah. I think okay, maybe maybe the point is that um, mm. I think in JC it's very easy, it. right? Like mm. In general, to uh, play huh? a lot because it's like one of the most fun times of your life. Actually, I feel la. like yes. um, at that age, you know, you have money to be honest, like a bit more allowance, right? Then you can go out with your friends. Then like very easy to get lost in the in that kind of world, right? But it's about like what Max said, surrounding yourself with the right people at the right time. Mm. And I think important to remember that in JC, it's only two years, but really you have so many things to study and it's about consistency, right? You don't want to be chonging and panicking towards the end of your JC life, I feel. So being a bit more consistent um, might be better. Lah. Yeah. Mm. Or maybe some people work well under that pressure of like chonging at the end, right? I don't know. But um, yeah, in general, it doesn't work for me lah, at least. Yeah. Okay. But uh, I think one thing about this school is that the the distance uh, the location is not uh, very not not the best uh. yeah it's okay. a bit far right yeah, unless because, you live uh, in Durong, uh. yeah so I, I do I do know a few people that like um, they, they didn't have this school as their uh, choices their choice at first then after that I mean the O level score didn't allow them to go to the GC that they wanted uh. so they were left with uh, choosing between Jurong Pioneer and Ishuna. Uh. so they are they're still deciding at this point of time uh. Uh, but I would say that roughly they, these two JCs fall on the same tier. At this point, I really feel uh, personally, uh, like I don't know a lot about these two JCs, but I think they're quite similar. Uh, if let's say you are considering between these two, the group of the, the demography that I just talked about, right? Then uh, I think a very important factor here is distance already. Because if you say, uh, for me, I stay at like Marine Parade, right? if you come, if you like go to Jurong Pioneer, right? Uh, from Marine Parade, uh, wow, I think it takes like two hours or like one and a half hours to go to school every day. And you try back mm-hmm. and forth, right? Wow, it's like too long already. Yeah. So whereas Ishun maybe it's like shorter, I think a bit. But a bit lah, not, not, not significantly, but like maybe like 30 minutes shorter, that kind of thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I guess it's more mm-hmm. accessible. Lah. So um mm-hmm. yeah, this this school really uh you need to consider the distance if it's uh one of your options. Uh. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you don't Again, unless unless you five. stay in the West, lah. Yeah, yeah, of course. <laughs> All right. Okay. Am I? Oh, sorry. Millennial Institute. Yeah. So, uh, this this school is a bit special. It's a three year program, right? Uh, yeah. Am I three year program? Yes. And the L one alpha cutoff is twenty. Yes. Um. Wow. But the student gave a super high rating. Nine, 9 out of ten. Nine out of ten. Yeah. Oh, it's nine and ten out of ten. Wow. Oh, nine and ten out of ten. Yeah. That's yeah. amazing. That's an amazing yes, score. Yes. Yeah. What are some great things about your JC? Um, yeah, you get three years, and so there's more time. 
Um, and I, th- I guess that means also a bit less stress, also more time to spend with your friends and CCA and everything, right? Okay. Yes. Areas you wish your JC can do better in. Um, communication between the teacher and student. And then retaining is a possibility. Yeah, but I think retaining is a possibility everything. everywhere. Yeah, but EMI is a bit scarier. Oh, you is retain, it? Yeah, you three years, you retain, become four years. Yeah, yeah, la, yeah, la, true. Yeah, so like the impact retain, is much bigger. Yeah, uh, especially I think for guys, uh, you retain, uh, you get lagged behind more la, because you're of NS also. Mm. So uh yeah, so I think uh just retaining is actually possible and it's not as hard to retain in, in JC as secondary school. Uh. Not to scare you all, but uh I think it's it's uh because some people they tend to slack off in J1, then they retain. Um every, I think for my batch, I was quite a lot. If I'm not wrong, it's some, somewhere like 40 people retain on oh, my whole batch, 900 people. Yeah. Uh, Charlene, do you remember the retention rate for our batch? Wow, I don't remember that. <laughs> Uh, Sorry, yeah, okay, too long uh, ago already. But it's quite a lot. Uh, like I knew I personally knew a few people that retained, then they got held back like a bit. Uh. So am I if you want to go to school, uh I mean just make sure you work hard. Uh, it's uh just to retain. Yeah, you retain, you'll be spending four years in uh doing A levels. Uh. Yeah. Mm. So uh am I the system is a bit different. If I'm not wrong, I think they do the okay. So uh in JC there's this called project work. So it's like uh I, I guess in secondary school you have a project work uh, component like sec two or something, but it's not part of O level. So O levels you all have uh just your written subjects, right? So for JC there's a component called project work. It's a is a like A level subject that is graded and will give you like it will contribute to your so-called L1 R5 like, in JC. So um for MI they they don't have it on their uh first year, I think. I think they have it on the second year if I'm not wrong. Mm. And the H1 they Yeah, I think so. Uh, I think so. Yeah, it's a bit different, uh, the, the way this school does. So it's the only uh school that offers a three-year A level in Singapore. Right? Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah, true. So, yeah, so and this R L1 R4, uh, not R5. So it's uh relatively easier to get in. Mm. So if you are still if you if you want to consider A level uh, uh and your L1 R5 maybe is not that good, right? Uh you can uh not not yeah, you can consider this school, but um this school, I would say that okay, to go to JC, if you are considering this school, right, you're probably on the on the like, fence whether you have to go to poly or MI, right? So uh I would say that A level subjects, it does require a very deep level of understanding. Right? You cannot like memorize your way through. Uh for most, at least for the science subjects. For art subjects, uh, maybe it's a bit different. Right? Yeah. So um you maybe you can look through the like syllabus for um for the, the subjects that you intend to take, okay, or the combinations that you might want to take later, lah, and find out more about these subjects before you make a decision to go A level up. Right? Mm. Because it's uh yeah, it's either poly or this, right? Then it's a very big difference between the two choices. Yeah. Agree. Okay. NYJC, wow, six uh, six points this year. That's crazy. <laughs> wow. Okay. Can't wait to go to yes. SA. Six six points. Um, but I think it's always been this low, no? Uh, I, okay, I don't know lah. Yeah, I I don't really look at this school because it wasn't one of my con- uh, choices. Oh, okay. Mm. Yeah, but uh, students rated it like six, eight, and eight upon ten. Um, what are some great things? School takes feedback very seriously. Uh, a lot of CCAs. People are generally really friendly, even though it may seem daunting. It's a Chinese school. Um, a lot of them come from okay. I'm I'm sorry. I'm I don't know what this is. NCHS. Uh, Nan, Nan Chiao Hai and Chu Ah, Hai okay, Min. okay, right. Yeah. Mm. Countless yeah. of study spaces. Uh, caring teachers. Wow, best principal wow. And, with the best strategies. Wow, hopefully okay. this principal never change. Yeah. <laughs> um, many many choices for subject combi. And the school campus is nice. Yeah, I've been there before. One of my good friends also went to NY and she had a super good experience. Um, like she really said the people there are really, really nice, right? And she made a lot of, I guess, long-term friends from there Um, that she continues to like meet up with today. And I think in general, actually, I don't know about you, Max, but I'm still quite close to my JC friends also. Yeah, me, uh, me too, me too. Yeah. And um yeah, so NY, I think NY's uniform is quite similar to Hua Chong's. Yes, in yeah, that. I think it's exactly the same. Is it exactly the uh, same? The badge only, uh, but the color look is exactly the same. I cannot tell the difference between someone's for NY and Hua Chong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's that neutral beige tone, right? Yeah. Yeah. And oh, NY is super near MRT. Long Chuan, I think. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like you come out, right? It's immediately the school already. So super convenient. Yeah. Oh, but um, so I want to bring on one thing. So when um People say Chinese school, right? I just want to clarify. Uh, it doesn't mean that everyone in the school is like a Chinese uh, citizen. Uh, so it doesn't come yeah. from China. It just means, I guess, the general population uh, is like 
Chinese, Singaporean Chinese uh, it's like they are just I mean normal Singaporean Chinese like normal like I just normal Singaporean uh, normal normal Singaporean Chinese right uh I mean like I doesn't when I I thought it was uh the Chinese citizens when I was applying for JC I was like okay now I'm not gonna consider this but then actually when I met people from Nanyang yeah I told them yeah hey, I thought your school all Chinese citizen and then they are like huh no what the hell that is not true at all then they tell you that everyone in the school is just like like Singaporean la. I mean there's of course there are a few scholars la, but yeah this Chinese this word Chinese school right, I just don't want to get confused and think that everyone is a Chinese citizen from there it's oh. just like it's just normal it's just a normal school yeah I always thought like Chinese school men like um because Nanyang ma then like um yeah. they educate maybe in like Chinese or mm-hmm. like mm-hmm. they have a lot of Chinese culture and better into the uh, program that kind of thing the I, Chinese I culture think. might be true but uh, the the population, I mean, they are not Chinese citizens, lah. They're just Singaporean Chinese. We'll right. Of course, you have other races also, lah. But uh, I, I guess it's a bit uh the percentage of other races in those schools there's a. I don't really think it makes a difference, lah. Singaporeans all can bond very well with each other no matter what race, lah. So it, you want to go to this school also can, lah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't think it makes a difference. Um. Yeah. yeah. What are some areas that Nanyang can do better? Uh. Wow. People's they set are damn hard. <laughs> Um, so hard to find space in the library, maybe because everyone is like studying right in school. Um, climbing the hill to reach main gate is annoying. So, yes, that's something to consider. Inculcate a better sense of belonging in the school, more leadership opportunities for students. Uh, a bit stressful if you're not used to the competitive environment. Yeah, I I think in general, at least from what I heard from my friends at that time, lah, I don't think the school spirit is that strong or rather as strong as AC and SA, definitely. Um, so maybe that's why they said that it's better to inculcate a better sense of belonging with the school. Can be a bit stressful. I, I do hear that Nanyang is, um, can be quite, I guess because everyone is very studious there, right? Then you're in that competitive environment. So mm, might be a bit stressful if, if you're not used to it. Yeah, so... At the end of the day, I think the point we want to drive home, right, to everyone here on the call is really like your JC experience is what you make of it. There's going to be so many different people in your JC and you can always find like your right group of friends, right? Um, whatever it is that you need. Um, so, and it's really the experience will be what you make of it. Um, and it's up to you, right? Whether or not you want your JC experience to be more fun or you want to focus a bit more on your studies, that's completely up to you and... Um, yeah. Okay. Shall we move on? Next, yes, anything else to say about? To, no, no, nothing much actually. Yeah. Okay. School. Yeah. Let's move on. NJC. Oh, national oh, four of ten. Oops. Okay, like, it's just one student, uh, but I guess uh I've heard some positive view, views about this school. Um let me see. Uh. uh canteen food is good and teachers are willing to help and uh they are patient. Uh, you ask for consult. I think uh this seems like very consistent uh comment about all the like top top five schools, I guess. Like the teachers are very uh very good being to help and very, yeah, just very patient with you. Lah. And this this like the better I notice. Right. And uh usually lessons is not as helpful since different students have different needs and lessons are helped for a big group of students. Uh yeah, so in JC the lessons are in lecture style. So uh some some lectures, some the uh, normal tutorial style. Lah. So um yeah, I guess there's I, I, as a, in a lecture style maybe some people can't absorb as well uh, yeah but one very bad comment I heard about the school uh, um, not Chinese school but uh, someone uh, some my friend from NGC complained to me before about the facilities he, he really rented wow he really rented very badly to me like, he said wow the wall got algae got crap you know what then uh, it's just yeah I think I, oh it's here uh, what are some areas that you wish your JC can do better? Management and facilities. Uh. So I guess, yeah, when I walk past the school, because it's I think it's opposite Hua Chong only. So it's around Tangkaki as well. Uh, I walk past the school, I was looking at it, I was like, uh, okay, the walls outside were a bit, uh, yeah, a, a bit cracked. And they really have algae there. Lah. Yeah. So um, other than that, but I think the academics there, like, they, they are really very driven and disciplined there. Lah. So the environment there is very... Very nice. But yeah, I think I do think the campus is still very old. Uh. It's quite run run down. So uh, uh okay, maybe I'm um, choosing a JC, I don't know whether you all you all consider this like campus, the uh, campus how old, how new or what. Uh. Okay, uh yeah, but anyway, uh sh- uh Shani, do you have anything to say about this? Uh, do you have any friends mm-hmm. in here? No, I don't have any friends that went to NJ. I think it was a bit too far for them, right? Like yeah. for most people, it's it's, it's in central, with that new stretch yeah. la, with uh Hua Chong and um yeah, yeah, the young girls, I think. But if you like the school, I, do, I think wherever it is, you'll still go. Lah. 
True la, you, yeah. you are willing to travel, right? Okay. Yeah. And then just take note that the cut off point is about 7 and 8. Let's move on. Um, ah, Raffles oh, Institution. Okay, we got a lot of ratings over here. 7, 8, 8, 8, 9. Wow, okay, so quite high ratings, I would say. Um, obviously, the cut off point is, you know, pretty damn low, I would say as well. Yes. Yes. Um, I think it's the same as Hong Chong, to be honest. Mm. Uh, wait, is it? Is four, 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 four. I think Hwachong yeah. is 4 or 5 also, right? The cut-off point 4 or 5 uh, Yeah, I, I think so think... Oh, really? I did Okay, I think 4, four, four yeah. 5 yeah. yeah, but what are some great things about um, RI? Um, focuses on welfare They have a lot of school events And then they say Okay, contrary to pro- popular belief RI is not as manga as everyone believes um, Everyone goes and chills a lot And then teachers are extremely caring Good facilities that one I believe uh, because um the school camp compound is huge, right? Yeah, um, and I've been there before. Uh, it's like they own like almost I think one quarter of Bishan like that. Okay, oh, but yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um they have Wednesdays off. Yeah, I have a student in uh, in RI now, right? Every Wednesday they have they don't have school. So it's not even scheduled for like home-based learning, right? So they only have a four-day um like work oh, week oh, in yeah. that sense. Yeah. Right, so yeah. I think that's a super duper huge plus point. Um, and they have a lot of counselors um to offer guidance and stuff like that as well. What are some areas that RI can do better? Um, lectures are dry and boring. Um, while some others are more easy and engaging, I guess better to understand. Um, will be better if they standardize the pace of the lectures and then mental health awareness and support amongst students and um school spirit actually i've heard that the ri school spirit is very strong yeah me too i also see that it's very strong yeah, yeah and um i think okay to be honest lectures are dry and boring that's like across all schools right like sometimes yeah. it can get super dry and boring and it's just the nature of like studying i feel mm, yeah but a lot of people seem to enjoy 7 8 8 9 9 or all the meetings very good also lah yeah, yeah, and um, oh, but one thing I love about RI is that if you are choosing between a top few schools, I think RI the notes right is like superb. Like yes, if you based on the school notes right, itself, right? They have so many materials, right? They have a whole portal for you to assess, right? It's like you cannot finish on the question. It's like too many, and mm, yeah, agree. So, and the examples yeah. they give are very good. Like when they yes. are going through the lecture, yeah. Mm. In general, I feel like they teach quite well. Yes. Um, yeah, and a lot to learn from them, right? Yeah. Um. I. I. Okay. Just gonna say. I love the RI uniform. Like especially the girls one. I think it looks very nice. Okay. I think SA one nice. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Bias opinion. Mm-hmm. But yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. I think. Okay. Self explanatory. Let's move one. on. S A J C. Okay. This one we have a lot to say, right? Because we I are from S A. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. Max, you wanna take us through? Uh, okay. Yeah. So uh, the ratings for this school, I think, is uh, is very good lah. I mean, okay. They have like five ratings here, but um personally I would really attend. Uh, I really enjoyed my time in SA. And I think right, okay, uh this is what I hear from uh generally um of, like most of my students that uh just finished O levels, uh, but SA is one of their top choices. Like a lot of them that um they just finished, they, they really want to go SA a lot. Uh hold on now. Uh this is the campus of I think the secondary school. The JC one is opposite, but uh, it roughly looks the, the same. Lah, yeah. So the JP, JC campus is much bigger. Uh, it's so, so the nice thing about it is like there's a uh, river running between the school, there's a bridge. Jacob, it's called Jacob Ballas Bridge, I forgot already. Mm. Yeah, but um, I, I think this school is like, yeah, it's really a lot, uh, one of the top choices for everyone. Uh, and so I, we all might have heard that SA is a fun school, right? And yes, that is true. It's very fun. Uh, personally, being there, like, yeah, and I had a lot of fun in school. Um, just messing around with my friends during break and after school. We stay in school until like what 11 30, 12 a.m. and just like um just just like walking around the school and just having fun. Lah. Yeah. Then uh okay, so let's just uh, I'll take you through the things of uh, what some students said about the school that's good. The school spirit is very strong. Most of us feel very proud to be in SCJC. Uh the pace is just right for students who are in neighborhood schools. Uh yeah, so the school spirit is very strong there. I definitely agree. Actually, it's somewhere in the mid mid tier uh JC somewhere around there like it's not too high up uh mm. yeah so um but the, the it's so, so I think it's like someone a few most of you that probably got like 10 10 to 15 that comes score will, will probably end up here and I think this a uh, very like it, it allows you to follow they, they don't go too like fast because the people around you right they aren't like um they, they weren't like 
be able to absorb also if you if the school goes too fast. So it kind of cater the gen- general population is uh like I they, you have people from all those uh SA San Jose secondary school, uh all those Anglican schools, right? Anglican High, right? Uh you have people from uh what's the school? St. Mark's, I think St. Mark's is also affiliated here. So you have a few affiliated schools uh coming over to SAJC and it feels very homely, like, like family like that. Like. Uh, everyone mm-hmm. um is very proud to be in SEJC. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So uh yeah, SEJC is then fun and interesting. Yes, definitely. The teachers here are very friendly. Uh yes, during orientation, the OGRs and atmosphere of the school is very good. Both students' welfare and academic are both taken into account. Okay, uh during orientation, right? Uh I'm not sure about your COVID measures now, lah, but uh your orientation might be a bit like compromised. Uh do you know about anything about orientation, Shelly? Yeah, I think they have to sort of separate. Like as in keep the students like apart, like that means they ah, yeah, batch yeah, yeah. the students, that kind of thing. Yeah. yeah. It's probably a bit like less uh fun. I mean they, they try their best. Lah. So yeah. Uh, yeah, it's still fun like, orientation. You you get to meet a lot of people. So um like you'll be you'll be close to your orientation group. Uh but I think most when you go on, you'll only be with be them with like uh with them for about three days. I think mm. for, for my orientation. Lah. So maybe for the COVID one it's a bit longer, I think like five days perhaps. But um after that you move on to your class and usually the people that I'm closer to uh okay surprisingly they don't come from my class I'm close to people from my class but uh they were just people like from other classes that CCA maybe I met them forgot how I met them already yeah but yeah so so there's an inclusive and fun culture teachers are very helpful giving consults and advices uh yeah okay it's inclusive and fun um the fun part uh, yeah inclusive and fun okay yeah this this whole sentence is true obviously I have a lot of great things to say about I say yeah and uh P facilities are very well developed. Oh, uh, think about this. The P facilities, uh, uh, I, I wouldn't say that the P facilities now are very well developed, la. Like they, we have a we have a very big field. Uh, I think every school has a big field, la, But um, SJC is like as Andrews in general is like a rugby school, la, So uh, we do have those like um, our field is meant to play like rugby one. Then uh, we do have a gym. Uh, I think a lot of schools also have a gym, but SJ gym is not very like. Uh, atas uh, is is like quite run down uh, but there's still everything that you that you can have inside there's like all the bench press and uh, there's a bell bar inside for you and all the other machines so um but the very well developed uh i have other thoughts about that uh. yeah so p facilities may not be that well developed uh. yeah so uh Shirley, what what good things do you have to say about i say um yeah definitely very fun um, I would say CCA is like quite lively, I feel. And generally, I felt quite bonded to my CCA. I was, student, I was in student council. Um, mm. Yeah. What, what CCA were you from? Uh? Uh, I was from rugby. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, um, yeah. Then, of course, you know, like rugby was very well known, like from SA. And um, I think as well known as AC's rugby, in a sense. Um and yeah, in general, I think SE was very fun, the uniform very nice, um, quite easy to get to, very near Potong Pasir MRT, you can just walk there. Um and yeah, everything that Max said is true, right? I will also stay late in school with my friends sometimes and um it was super duper fun. Yeah. Uh the one more thing, I think uh the okay, they didn't mention here, but I think the library, right? Uh it was not very hard to find seats actually in the library. Compared to some some schools, they say we have to find seat. La. So SAJC actually, um, we study in the library, but some people, they like to study in the canteen. And actually, there are a lot of spaces all around school uh, with like benches yeah. that you can study at. Yeah, like all over the place. It's like there's a cafe and beside the field, and then there is a, uh, the cafe is not it's like the atas one. It's just like a place, it's, the place, it's a place that sells food outside the canteen. Yeah, <laughs> then there is, uh, I forgot what it's called already. La, yeah. But uh, yeah, so there are a lot of benches there for people to study. Oh, so I know, it's called Pop Cafe. No, I think the name, okay, maybe the name changed when you, yeah. Yeah, yeah maybe, I don't know. Yeah, but, uh, yeah, so finding a place to study, that is never a problem in SA, la. yeah. Yeah, and um, I think another thing about SA is that um, the teachers are also very nice. I don't know about you, but, like, my teachers always met me for, for consultation and were super, super patient with me, right? Um, and, yeah, what, but, okay, let's talk about what some areas, what are some areas that I wish SA can do better, lah, huh? Um, to be honest, I do feel like some of the furniture is quite old. Like the mm. benches, right? Okay, um, yeah, a, a bit old. I don't know whether they changed it, but they during my time. La. Oh, yeah. it has changed. Ah, uh, no, they have swings, la, but uh like you know, just like um how do I put it? Just swing like yeah, you sit on the chair and then like the rocking. Yeah. One. yeah. But it broke la, actually when my first sitting with the whole thing, I just broke. Oh so, my uh, god. Yeah, okay, <laughs> but as in I don't think there's a very big 
uh, like thing. <laughs> like yeah, yeah, of course, yeah. The the uh, the f- furniture. Oh, um, I think they probably change it lah. But I'm um, sixteen. Mm. But I think another thing is um another thing is like sometimes the depending on your schedule right it's like like what like what the student said um lessen the number of long breaks in the timetable yeah because you have to cater to sort of um different teachers and like different student subject combinations so sometimes it's like you spend a long time waiting for your next class so yeah that's just something to keep in mind as well yeah mm, okay hmm. But yeah, uh, anything else to say about essay? I guess like any stories to share. Stories are uh, uh, a lot uh, but I mean uh, th- these are all like small stuff uh, Like uh, I think um the, during like my friends' birthday, I don't know if this, but during my friends' birthday, like we will always uh like bring them to the toilet and just like bash them, not like beat them up uh, like uh like just like throw <laughs> food at them that kind of thing. So uh okay, this one I think we threw like flour, egg, then we gutted a fish and threw it at him, and tomato, chili sauce. And I think his whole bag was red. Like, uh, and fish sauce also. The whole toilet was very spray. Then uh, I think the next day, the DMA has cleaned the toilet. Uh. Oh my goodness. Okay, no, yeah. I didn't have the same experience. Maybe I'm a girl. Uh. Uh, yeah. I, I mean, girls also uh, were there. <laughs> the, oh, yeah. are you serious? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's, it's kind of But yeah, the, so uh, the DM came and told us, like, told us like, yeah, we, we got in trouble for that. So, but yeah, there's a lot of more stuff like that. You know, my friend sprayed fish sauce at a teacher accidentally on that day. Yeah, but, yeah, it's it's very it's a very fun place, uh, I think. Oh, okay. Wait, something I also like about essays is there's a lot of dress down days. Oh, it's basically a dress down term. It's just on year. Like I think they make us okay, I don't know uh, about your time, but what was it like your time? Is it once a week or something? Yeah, only once a week. Oh, my, my time. Uh, towards I think uh for my year, 2018 and 19, right? So what happened was that SCJC they made us wear the uniform for like uh the first two months of like Jet Fed March. Then uh after that they slowly like oh uh Thursday just on day that kind of thing then uh mm-hmm. so yeah then after that suddenly oh the whole week just on day then after that, that from there on right from I think like uh March or uh March or April right, all the way until the end of the year right it was just on all the way then unless like mm. exam then you come like in. every day yeah every day you can just come in like t-shirt unless like Ooh. all those like like the cheaper like uh, event uh this exam yeah then you wear the screen for. I think that is just oh my god, wait, and the dress yeah. down shirts are super nice. Like our yeah. stickman shirt, like all our shirts, shirts are generally yeah. very nice. Essay has a lot of shirts. Like why well, I think it's my whole covered field essay shirt. Got Me too, shirt, oh my got god. Shirt, got every event now, uh, they'll make a t-shirt for you. Agree. Yeah, yeah. so it's it's yeah, you have a lot of essay t-shirt. Like you see all, all your seniors wearing the scenes, like the word scenes here, right? You have a lot of that, mm-hmm. like really a lot of that. They've got like 10 to 15 pairs, I think. Yeah, okay. I think I also I also have a, I had a lot. Um then a lot of them became very old and then like sadly I had to like throw them away. Uh yeah. Oh but yeah. I think a lot of people that okay, um I just want to talk a bit more on SAR. So uh those people that um probably considering this school, right? You are probably considering between this and like uh uh maybe like uh ACJC or NYJC or uh maybe a bit more of the top five schools, right? Or versus SA lah. Um I I would say that SA what um how you can like um like it's a place where if let's say you are uh, your score is like quite good you can shine very well like it there's not much pressure uh, on you as well so if let's say you are someone that did very well for all levels right then you go to like uh hua chong and then everyone there is like very smart also then you'll be like very pressurized you know then you'll be like huh i i'm i i get like a a b c huh, i get c ah shit huh, no cannot cannot get c no lah yeah, that will happen in hua chong lah but if you go to sa right like um, I think like if you do, if you get the same grade, you won't be as pressured because you're like shine. You it's easier to shine in SAJC. So if you like being like the big fish in a small pond, right? SA is really a great school for you, lah. And personally, like uh, I I got eight raw for my O levels and I choose SA, right? Uh, I don't regret it at all, lah. So I was choosing between SA and I think VJ, but uh, yeah, I choose SA and I don't regret it at all. It's it's really a very fun school, and uh, I end up my A levels are still eighty six rank points. So uh, again, okay, L one R five perspective is about. Seven, eight points are there? Right? Yeah. So it, you still can do well in, in every school. Uh. In fact, any school you go to, you can do well. It's just, mm-hmm. yeah, what are uh, your discipline and your environment, the crowd you mingle with. Mm. Mm. Okay. I think we talk a lot about SA. Let's move on. Yeah. Okay. Let's go to other schools. Oh, we are overshot by so much. Oh my God. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. The Japanese um, Meridian. Ta- uh. Yeah. Japanese Meridian. Mm-hmm. Uh, cut off point is about 13. Actually, where is this school, Alex? Do you know? Uh, t- t- uh, t- t- is it Tampanese? <laughs> okay, wait. Uh, I don't know. I, I, I guess yeah, okay, I want okay. the east side. Okay. Yeah, while, while you look for it, right? Um, 
Um, students rated it like it. Oh, someone said Pasir Ris. Oh, but, oh yeah, it's raining. Yeah. Uh, I think you do have to take a bus from the MRT. It doesn't look walkable. Mm. It looks like, I think it's like four bus stops, you know. Mm. Yeah. Someone's, uh, oh. People gave it like 8 and 9 upon 10, which is mm. quite good, right? Very high. Mm. Um, great things about the school. School takes feedback and develops itself. Okay, so I think we've heard that like for quite a couple of schools already, right? Which is amazing. I don't think we had that in my time. Um, teachers are very helpful, always willing to make time for you, especially on consults or even mental well-being. That's mm. so awesome. I honestly feel... TMJC people are the best. Um, throughout the whole of last year, she made so many friends. And the culture in TMJC is like play hard, work hard culture. Oh my god, they have aircon in their canteen. Huh? <laughs> oh my god. It's a merch school, right? I don't know it's from merch from which campus do they use now? But I, I remember they, they merged. So it's Tampanis and yeah, Tampanese JC and Meridian JC. But that is, is amazing. New campus? That's, yeah, this is getting cool. Yeah. Oh my god, this is the first time I heard aircon in canteen. Oh, uh, I yeah, guess they only different. on it, like switch it on after school, uh, like in for people to study, right? But wow, I would have loved that eh, if I was in yeah. JC. Wow, imagine SAJC can think or aircon. Wow, I think we're good already. <laughs> yeah. 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 That's nice. Okay, some areas of improvement. Um, mm-hmm. Some aspects of the school notes a bit more organized. TMJC reporting time is one of the earliest. Okay, then depends on your luck, but some teachers are kind of bad at teaching. Oh dear, okay. Oh. I think yeah. generally you I mean everywhere you go, everywhere you go depends on your luck. Right? Yeah. Hmm. yeah. Students from all over like all, most most schools like complaining like, oh teacher cannot teach or this. Um yeah, it just depends on your luck, right? Hmm. Everywhere you go got this problem, like, I feel. Hmm. Agree, hmm. agree. Okay. okay um one next Temasek. one, the Uh seven and eight out of ten. Um the way things, right? And then great things, a lot of leadership opportunities, teachers are approachable, good environment to study, um, departments are good, especially bio and chem departments and PW, a lot of resources. Um, and then what are some areas you can do better or TJ can do better? Um, improve on infrastructure to make learning even more conducive. I guess that means the school maybe like have more tables and chairs to study, I don't know. Um, and the campus is old lah. Yeah. Oh, the school has a mugging culture. Actually, I've heard this. I have a few friends who like were from TJ and I, previous students from TJ and like, yeah, the culture they say is like very, a bit stressful sometimes. So, like everybody is quite competitive in that sense and everyone like marks a lot. Yeah. This school is at Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, it's quite, it's quite near. It's quite, okay, I wouldn't say it's very far to the east or west. Uh, west uh. It's, it's like somewhere around the east. Mm. Uh, yeah, it's, it's, okay, it's, a, it's three stops away from Paya Lebar. So uh, it's not very far. If anyone mm. thinking uh, to come here, uh, I sorry, Shelly, you're gonna ask me something, right? Yeah, I was gonna ask if you've heard any like stories from TJ. TJ, uh, not that much, uh, uh, but I do know a few people from TJ, and uh, so some stories I heard. I mean, generally the marking culture, I think is real, uh, I I see my students from TJ, my friends from TJ, while well, they mark a lot and they really study a lot. They are very driven. Uh, and uh, oh, there are some questions in the chat we can uh, answer them later, but anyway, um, yeah, they're very driven, and I mean, there are also your fair share of like uh, people that like to play around. So, I think every school has this that people that like to play around, and you'll find them, like, um, definitely. Like, I mean, even if you're going to Hua Chong, right, there'll be people that love to like play around, have fun, and everything. So, uh, I think you can find it in every school, it's just maybe the, the more people that do that is a bit lesser. So, Tomasic definitely has that also. My friends, a lot of them, like, he told me a few stories for that, but it's a, it, it's a little bit. Uh, they a bit sensitive, those stories, so uh, I'll be saying here. But it seems like quite a nice school to go to, uh, to Master JC. Yeah, I've heard uh, comments about it being a little bit of a Chinese school. Uh, oh, so mugging culture, right? Mugging culture basically is like everyone just study a lot. Uh, like, like really study a lot. Like after school, they'll stay back and just like really study non-stop all the way until like 10. <laughs> yeah, maybe it's not so extreme, uh, but um, generally you'll see like, some other schools, they do, you don't see people like sitting down and studying a lot. Yeah. Mm. 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 Yeah, agree. I, I, I was just looking at the picture and I was like, wow, they have like a rock climbing wall here. <laughs> and it looks quite intense. But yeah, okay. <laughs> All right. Do we have a lot of questions? What's going on in the chat? Uh... River, uh, yeah, they're asking about River Valley and IB school. Uh. Oh, okay, maybe because we didn't get survey responses for those. That's why we yeah. didn't go through. Yeah, maybe we go through like all the, the whole slide at first and then like we answer yeah. any questions at the end. I think there are a lot of questions, yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. VJ, 
um, cut off point is 7 or 8. And then in general, across the board, uh, people gave it an 8 upon 10. What are some great things? Um, teachers will ensure you understand the question before going through the answers, which I guess helps you learn, right? Um, classes are air-conditioned. A lot of opportunities for you to step up and lead. Um, not everything is done by student council. Uh, most events are planned by students who actually like volunteer. Wow, I think that's amazing. Um, the college also provides marvelous support for scholarships and VIA, constantly sending out emails to look out for opportunities. And then some areas of improvement, um, more integration to get to know people outside of your class, which I think might be a di bit difficult lah, due to COVID. Um, certain facilities and the actual building itself is actually quite old. Yeah. I think for VJ, um, I also heard that the CCA culture is very strong. And if I'm not wrong, I think Daryl, who is um, also from Overmark, right? Like he's from VJ. Um, and he was in like floorball or something like that. And he had like a really great time in VJ. Um, his CCA culture is very strong. And like, I think they were like quite good in floorball. I'm not too sure. Uh, you guys can ask him about that. Um, oh, isn't he from TJC? Actually, okay, maybe he's from TJC. Sorry, maybe I remember wrongly. But yeah. Um, yeah, I think for VJC, it's in the East, right? Is it next? BJC, yes, it's a Marine Parade. Oh, Marine Parade, okay. Yeah, so if you live in the East, I think VJ is a great school to consider, right? Um, and um, I, I went to the campus once and it's quite huge, I think. Uh, BJC, yeah. Okay, like, it's, it's not as big as like, Hua Chong, but it's still, I think it's not normal GC size, honestly. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Uh, we have a question. What is stress down days? Uh, just on days, okay. Uh, basically, um, hold on now. Uh, oh, yeah, just on days are basically days where you like usually okay. So your secondary school has like uniform, which is like a collar or blouse, like collar tee, uh, collar shirt or blouse, and then you have uh, your skirt lah. So just on days, uh, it's usually the the top, like your your top is different. So you don't wear a blouse or shirt anymore. You wear can wear a t-shirt that is a, a school t-shirt lah. Not not outside t-shirt, a school t-shirt. So uh, SC has this a lot. Uh, I think AC also. So uh, every JC will have their school t-shirts. Uh. So on just on this, uh, the attire is a uh, t-shirt and uh, uh, t-shirt and pants. Or uh, for girls, it's a t-shirt and your skirt lah. So I actually have a few pictures later uh, from my own JC life. Uh, which is I think I, I think some of them are in dress down like I'm not wrong. I'm going to check. Uh, yeah. Okay. But yeah, that, those are just on this one. So you can wear a t-shirt instead. Mm, yeah. I uh, think later yeah. we'll show the photo and it might be easier to explain. Yes. Yeah. Oh, definitely. So Okay, the last yeah, JC actually that we're going to go through is like YIJC, Yishun Innova JC. Um, I think we had a lot of questions in the chat about River Valley. Like we can definitely address that later. Let's just like get through this, this deck first, right? It's already like 9.07. Um, yeah, but okay, YIJC 5, 7 and 7 out of 10. Um, I think one of, some of the great things about the JC are the friends, right? The CCAs um, and then the food. Um, the teachers are quite caring. I would, yeah based on the student responses. Short distance from MRT and mall. Okay. Um, I'm not sure that this mall ref refer to North Point, but yeah. Um, and then what are some areas that YI can do better? Have more toilets. That's so funny. Have more toilets. Um, have more patient teachers. Um, have teachers who will answer instead of... Okay, I think I think maybe this one is on a case-by-case -case basis. It depends on the teacher, right? And I think good to remember, guys, your teachers are humans as well. So they can't be answering like your questions 24-7. But like, yeah, they should be answering um, the questions like if possible, right? When they have time. Um, more free time to not get stressed easily. Um, and have more events planned ahead. Tell us our schedules way ahead of time. So that's some areas of improvement for YI. I personally have a couple of students from YI. Um, they are both from like student council, right? And apparently it's super hectic. Like they have a lot of um, CCA events going on and like sometimes it can get a bit much. Um, but in general, I feel like my students are quite happy in YI. I'm, I don't know about you, Max. Do you have students in YI? Uh, no, I don't. I don't really know for YI. Oh, okay. Uh... Yeah. I, I think one comment would be that um, it is, I think it, for, for my students, I, it was quite far for them now. Yeah, to travel. Yeah. But I think it's not that bad. Ishun is honestly not that bad unless you stay in like, um, I don't know, like Marine Parade. Like, yeah, like what makes it. Okay. 
I think that's all of the schools that we have. And we just want to emphasize, right, regardless of where you go, okay, it is what you make of the experience. There's no perfect school. Um, and ultimately, it's up to you to what like your JC experience will be, right? It's very dependent on what you make of it. Lah. Yeah. Oh, so, Celine, uh, sorry, uh, one thing to say. Uh, I think uh, one, one, someone wants to see the ASR slide real quick. Okay. Okay. Yeah, CSR slide. Yeah, and we have a few questions in the chat box, so we can address them later. Like, you can type it to everyone. Uh, you send a direct message to me that I need to let Shalin see also. So you can type it to everyone. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, so, okay. Um, I, I think like... Oh, so many questions. Oh my God, okay. Okay, uh, yeah, we can... Okay, I think we can move on to what, what slide you want just now. Uh, sorry, wait, let me see. Oh, okay. Subject okay, combination. Uh, yeah. Oh, sorry, can you go back to the previous slide for a while? Uh yeah, I think uh this slide um I we, we do need to emphasize it a bit. So uh, I understand you have a lot of questions in the chat box. Okay, we have a uh we have a session later for QA. So you can ask all you want. Okay. Uh we will stay longer than nine, uh, at least for me. Uh. Okay, uh, but yeah, so after we show you all the JCs, right? You probably like have a few JC in mind that you want to consider. Okay, um, but I think wherever you go. Um, like, yeah, it is what you make of the experience. So, um, the crowd you mingle with, the environment you're in, um, and and everything like. So, like, I think it's also your mindset in JC. Like, if you go to the school thinking like, wow, shit, I could have gone uh CJ, right? I, I could have gone SA, if I study harder. I could have gone somewhere if I study harder, like, Then uh, you might not enjoy it a lot. So, uh, just going to the school, be open minded. You know, meet people, have fun, right? It's very important to meet people on first day orientation, like, Then get to know everyone. Yeah, have fun in JC, right? Yeah. Mm. Yeah, I think um, Okay, to answer the questions in the chat as well, right mm, An option is definitely to go to poly as well um, But I think for the purpose of today's session We're only going to talk about or We're only talking about the, the JCs lah. Yes Yeah, but poly is definitely a good choice as well lah. Okay, yeah. let's go Let's go on to the next slide Because yeah, we at least we the Q&A Then we can uh, answer the questions Yeah, okay Uh. Anyway, so um. Okay, this is basically explaining to you all Like the L1, R5 of GC. So in GC, it's not called L1, R5 anymore. It's called rank points. So uh, six points equivalent of L1, R5 is uh, 90 rank points for GC. La. So GC is opposite. It's higher, is better. So you get more rank points. It's best, la, better. La. So the highest rank point here is 90. Right? Uh, and uh, so there's a breakdown. Sorry. So in GC, you do take um, about the same number. So you take about six subjects, right? Uh, for, for GC. Like same as secondary school. Some of you may have taken more. La. Okay, I'm sure some of you will take more than six. So um, okay, you have three main subjects, and these three are the core subjects, the main important ones, right? They are going to be focusing on for the whole of your JC life. Okay, and these are called H2 subjects. So there's H1, H2, and H3. Uh H they, they go in increasing level of difficulty. La. So H1 and H2 are the like are the ones that people take. H3 is the one that if you think, well, I, I like I like JC a lot, then you think you like the subject a lot, you're very good, then you go into H3. It's not a requirement. So what you require to take is three main H2 subjects and one. H1 subject. So, okay, H2 subject is the main subject and uh, you can choose like, you can, you can subject like mathematics, chemistry, physics, bio, uh, economics, and uh, all of other things you can choose from. Geography, history for arts people, right? Okay, and then uh, H1, you have this, uh, roughly the same option, um, but um, it has a lesser weightage, it's less, uh, less content, uh, basically. About uh, average half the content, right? So it's an easier version of the H2 subject. Uh. So this is the generally the JC beta. And then you have a H1 general paper, which is basically your English, right? Uh, okay, it's a bit different from English in the sense that they don't ask you to do the descriptive essays anymore. It's one compo, one general paper, uh, but it's, the, it's very similar to English, uh, so it's basically English. Then a H1 project work, which is what I mentioned just now, you'll be in a group of four to five and do a project together the entire year. So the entire, uh, for most JCs except MI, uh, for all JCs except MI, you'll be doing project work in year one, when you're on JC one. Uh, the entire year, I think from February or March, all the way until your promos or your December holidays, so you'll be doing the project work. Yeah, so you work with a group uh, team member and you have to come up with like a whole uh, written report, a whole booklet, very thick, and a presentation as well. Yeah, so it's, it's a lot of work, like, actually, it's a project work. So uh, the three two the the point breakdown as to how it adds up to ninety nine points maybe Shalin you can yeah explain to us more about that. Yeah, so um generally right, what when people take um three H twos and one H one okay so everybody like what I might say everybody takes um GP and PW right each are ten points uh because they are H one okay 
And um, the H1 subject that you take will be 10 points as well. And then each H2 is 20 points. So there's different gradings. Like um, if you get A, definitely you get the 10 points, right? For instance, for a H1 subject. Um, then if you get B, I believe it's like 7.5 rank points or something like that. Yeah, then so on and so forth. You can definitely find the grading, um, like the tiers online lah, on Google. Yeah. Okay. So here are some common subject combinations um, that we see. Personally, I took PCME. And then um, there's BCME, which is like bio, chem, math, and econs. That, then these are like the common art, I guess, subject combinations to take, which is like Gelm and Helm. So like Geoc, um, Econs, Lit, and H1 Math, or like History, Econs, Lit, and H1 Math. Yeah. And then like we said, right, everybody has to take GP and PW. Mm, this is compulsory. Um, I would say PCME is the most common subject combination. Um, and you can get quite a good timetable if you take PCME because um, so many people take it in the school, right? For arts, um, in general, the content is very heavy. Uh, but yeah, these are like the most common subject combinations for arts as well. Yeah. Okay. So some advice in general. Um, always choose what you like. I, I think when even when you are choosing what to study, um, choosing a subject that you are more interested in makes the studying easier um, and you will enjoy learning a bit more. Um, and as a result, you might tend to do a little bit better. So that is just something to keep in mind when you're picking your subject combination. Um, and just be, also keep in mind that if your subject combination is a bit, a bit too unique, right, the school may not offer it. Um, so do check the school's website, right, as to what kind of subject combinations they offer. And if they do offer it, your timetable might end up being quite bad. Um, sometimes you might end up ending really, really late. Yeah. And then the second advice that we have for you is to find a balance lah, in your combination. So I guess very little or no student will take both job and history because the content is very heavy for these subjects. Um, even bio, bio and then job or history is not really recommended. Um, I think taking a good balance of this kind of like content heavy subjects is key, right? If you're taking bio, you might want to consider something a bit lighter as like icons or lit um, for your contrasting subject. Yeah. And um, other tips is that physics and math complement are complementary. So it's uh, good to maybe take them together. Yeah. Okay, so we're just going to shout out to these organizers, which is Overmark and AMA, right? Um, before we end and tackle all the questions that you have in the chat for us. So um, feel free to scan a QR code to join our Telegram channel or sign up for our trial lessons. Um, and, you know, on our Telegram channel, we actually have free learning resources, so like free notes and stuff. Um, and yeah, feel free to ask us anything really. Um, and then I'll move on to, oh, sorry. Um, the trial lessons will actually be happening after your JC orientation in the third week of Feb. So you can sign up first to indicate your interest um, and then we'll reach out to you, right, for the trial lessons and confirm your attendance uh, closer to the actual lesson. Um, so these are the dates for the JC trial lessons. Okay. Moving on. Yes. All right. Yeah, okay. So uh yeah, so I'm a teacher at AMA, uh, AM Academy uh, and um so we have uh, A level tuition for multiple subjects uh, multiple subjects. Uh, and we're having a I, I, I mean I do like the culture here and I was a student from this uh this center last time. So I came here with uh bad grades and then yeah, I just stuck with them all the way. Like. So until JC, because I wanted to try JC myself, like. but more on that later. Yeah, and uh so we're offering I, I think we have a sorry, uh, just add on I have a bit of a we have a bit of a family culture here, so I, I do think that um like it feels very homey to a lot of people and like uh, so a lot of ex students like to come back and just like use this point as a meeting point. So we are very open like um you can just come back anytime and like, say hi and everything. I mean okay I think a lot of places have this but yeah okay um 
we we will be having a free trial lesson next week. So um, I think it does give you a rough idea of what to expect for different subjects. So I think a lot of students have questions about econs, right? Uh, economics. Uh, um, okay, sorry, uh, Chen, can you go to the next slide, please? Is there another slide? Yeah, so you're, you're, uh, if you have a lot of questions about econs, right? Oh, no, no, the trial side. Yeah, um, you all can um, go to uh, the free trial and check out what econs is about. Uh. So um, this feature, I think, is meaning to introduce, uh, introduce you all to... Uh, the JC subjects uh, and uh, what to expect. Lah. Okay, and of course, we'll be covering like uh, one, maybe one chapter, one particular chapter to get used to teaching stuff first, right? But yeah, it's also to see because um, you already don't know what to expect in JC. Lah. So yes, that's the part of this uh, free trial. So this uh, this Charles, uh, Charles next week is free. Yeah, so uh, if you'd like to sign up, you can scan the QR code there. Yes. Oh, yes, everyone in the chat. <laughs> okay, uh, yeah, so I think that's all right. We can go on to Q&A session. Yeah, okay, so Q&A time, okay, I think you are, a lot of you have been waiting for um, this. I think uh, some people wanted to go back to like certain slides, so oh, I yeah. saw N NY, right, so I'll just NY, go back to that maybe? slide, but okay. yeah, we can take questions as okay. I... Wow, a lot of questions to answer, yeah. Okay, okay wait, let me go back to where I stopped. Okay, okay. Uh, so I think I can start answering questions first. Lah. Um, so I think the first question that I received that we didn't answer was... Uh, what are your thoughts for, about uh, SA Humanities Department? Uh, I perceive it as from science, la, but uh, I think the Humanities Department, um, it was quite good. La. I mean, okay, generally in JC, uh, um, the, the teachers, right, I mean, they do help, la, but I feel that a lot of it is independent learning. Like, you kind of learn, learn um, you self-direct yourself. Uh, of course, your teachers will guide you, la, but uh, I feel that if you don't, like, you're not independent and you're not disciplined, right? No matter how much they got you, are, uh, you it's a bit different from secondary school, you know, because secondary school, your teachers were like, can who you and then go through the teacher and everything, right? But in JC, it's like, you don't do a tutorial, like, the teachers are like, hey, you don't do a tutorial, I call your parents, uh, no such thing in JC really. So, um, it's like, it's a bit different, like, you don't do, they, they call, like, they, they care, they bother less. That's what I'll say, right? What do you think, Charlie? Um... I, I'm not too sure, to be honest. <laughs> uh, I, I, I do know that they... Okay, for me, like, at least, if I don't do my tutorial, my teachers, like, they don't like, say much about it. Uh. Yeah. Mm, okay. I think it depends on the teacher. Yeah, okay. Yeah, uh, very, yeah. very depends on the teacher. Okay, yeah. but... Uh, oh, I mean, about the humanities department, I think it's it's not it's not bad. Like, it's quite good, I think. I heard, I heard them saying that. I heard my friends saying that it's, it's not bad. Yeah, mm. so... Yeah, nothing to worry about, lah. Uh. Okay, uh, mm. yeah. hi, just asking, will the slides recording be uploaded into Instagram, YouTube? Yes, it will be uploaded. Yeah. Yes, okay. Uh, so next question, uh, Shali, maybe you can answer this. Uh, after, uh, I'm losing uh, track of the questions. I I'm don't going all the way back know. to the top. Yeah, it's, it's a lot of new messages below. Uh, so what if our JC point is not good enough? Can we go to poly instead after JC? Definitely. Uh, yeah, definitely. I think uh, if let's say your JC, your points, right, you do badly in JC, la, touch wood, but you do badly in JC, la, you can decide to drop and like, drop out and go poly. I know a few people that did that. La. So J1, they think uh, after the exam, they like, shit, I never really do that well. Then they drop out and go poly. La. It's perfectly fine. Of course, you have that lag behind or by one year, but I think at least you try. You know, you won't regret it. La. Say, ah, sure, I went JC. At least you know. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, okay. Uh next. What happens if you fail A levels or cannot make it to uni? Uh apparently A levels, yeah, then we take off well, nothing else to do. Oh, you want to drop to poly or okay. We take or drop to poly. That's the two options that generate it. Or you go and go international school or, or anything else. Now. But usually uh I do have friends that they do that well for A levels, they retake off. Well. So just do another year. Yeah. Mm. Uh okay, uh Charlene, maybe you can answer some. Yeah, someone asked, is CJ or YI science better? Um, I think CJ is more known for math, if I'm not wrong. Yeah, um, I think it depends on what subjects you take as well. Like, not all the, even, even like the sciences, right? Not all the sciences are equal within like the school. Yeah, mm, so yeah. then let's see. Uh, okay. Let me see uh, the questions. Okay, uh, I can answer one while you're, uh, while you're finding a question. Uh, okay, so Hari asked just now, at least actually looking at the questions very earlier, like 9-11 just now. So uh, medium fish in a small pond or small fish in a big pond. So uh, this I, I use this uh, energy just now when I was describing SA. La. Okay, uh, medium fish in a small pond or small fish in a big pond, which is better? Personally, uh, uh, it's up to your, uh, yourself, but uh, I find myself uh, doing better when I, I shine. Right? So I personally feel like 
uh, if let's say I'm a big fish in a small pond, right? so like let's say I, I really like outshine my peers, like, I feel that that would drive me to do better. But if let's say I'm like below average among all the people around me, right, then I think like a bit hard for me. Lah. So, but if you like that, you think that that drives you more, then uh, like you must do yourself, lah, then that would be better. So, um, like the, I think where you go uh, also depends on that quite a bit. Lah. Yeah. Okay, Shelly. Yeah, I think a lot of people in the chat ask like about mother tongue. So Ooh, let's just address okay. this, right? Very complicated um, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a bit complicated, but just know that it doesn't affect your rank points that much. Mm. Or it's not significant enough la, to affect your rank point, right? So it's not really a consideration. Just pass can already. Yeah. Yes. Um, I think a lot of people also ask about River Valley. So maybe we can talk a bit about that, right? Um, River Valley is an IP school. So that means that a lot of the students um, are there from year one. So very similar to Diamond High, right? Um, and I think in general, I have I had a couple of students from River Valley. Um, if you are from like the secondary school in River Valley, right? I heard that it's quite difficult or they, they have very high expectations like for you. And it's quite difficult to, for instance, uh, like they expect you to get A or like B for math to allow you to take H2 math. Yeah, but let's put on the assumption that you are an O-level student, like going into River Valley. Um, I, I've heard that it is a bit stressful, to be honest. Um, and I, but I've also heard that the people there are very nice, and in general, classes there are very bonded. Yeah. Mm. Next, have you heard anything about River Valley? Uh, not really. I just know it's quite close to Dalman, uh, apparently. That's what my Dalman students told me. Oh, is it? Mm, apparently, then the, when the yeah the whole River Valley thing happened, they're like, oh, River Valley is like uh, our cousin's school or something like that. Mm. Yeah. I think the River I Valley uniform is like all white or so. So if you're a girl, right, um, I think something to take note of lah, because you know, when your that time of the month comes, then like, um, you gotta avoid staining, right, and stuff. Yeah. So just something to take note of. Yeah. Yes. Okay. okay. Uh, a lot of people okay. also ask, like, what is further math? Um, further math is like, I think it's a new subject, sorry. In my time, that yes. they didn't offer further math. Okay, explain this. Uh, I wanted to take further math, okay, but I think so, what you all need to know about further math is that usually they offer is uh, quite a small group of people taking further math, depending on what school you go. Like. For SA, for, for schools like SA, for schools like, I think like NY, only very few people taking like, further math, like maybe like less than 20, some, sometimes like that. So uh, further math, okay, just to give you a rough example, uh, further math, right, and normal math, right, okay, uh, they, further math is not more in that, it's just more stuff. So normal math has like 25 chapters, right? Then further math has like, it's just more chapters, you know? It's not like more in depth. The chapters might be a bit harder to understand, but they don't go more in depth, right? The more in depth one is H3 mathematics, which is the one that don't need to take one up, okay? Uh, yeah, so that's further math. Lah. But usually further math, right? They take it in a combi where it's physics, math, further math. Then the last one is something else, like econs or something. That's what people usually take. Usually people don't take physics, uh, usually the people don't take math, further math, chem. Uh, because chem is quite important, so you might want to consider that if you're thinking, you want to take further math. For me, uh, I wanted to take, I was thinking between further maths and chem, right? So uh, I wanted to take chem, so I, uh, my school didn't offer further maths and chem, la, so I couldn't take it. So I ended up taking chem instead. So chem is very important. Uh, for chemistry, it's very important when you're selecting your uh, uni because I think it allows you to go into a lot of different courses. Like medicine is one very uh, important one that some of you are be going for. La. Yeah, a few other courses, uh, quite a few courses require H2 chemistry, la, actually. So uh, that might be something that you might want to consider before taking further math. Unless you want to take like an engineering, then go and take further math. Mm. It's just more stuff, basically. More, it's like math plus, yeah. Mm. Yellow? I think, yeah, okay. In general, also everyone, we will be uploading this recording like onto YouTube. So don't worry, right? If you miss out some parts of the session. Yeah. Yes. Uh, um, okay. okay, another question is, is it more worth to take H2 math than H1 math? I do feel that H2 math opens a lot more doors for you yes. um, in uni. So for instance, um, most of the engineering courses, right, you need to have um, H2 math in order to be able to take that. If not, you have to take a bridging um, module when you go in. Yeah, but it's the same for some um, courses like for physics, right, um, for, especially for engineering. If you don't take maybe like H2 physics, um, then for certain engineering, like you have to take a bridging module when you go in. Yeah, so there's always that option to take the bridging module, lah, actually. Yeah. Charlene, do um, you uh, put the slides to the subject combinations? I think you can let them look at that. Lah, okay. Instead of watching JC, yeah. So you, we can do that while answering questions. Yeah. Anyway, um, yeah. So, okay, uh, I see one question. Is there any JC with hybrid? 
hybrid combination basically means so uh you all realize that sci that you are science and arts right so uh in when you're choosing school uh so let me just tell you the difference uh, science right is basically considered like physics chem maths bio like these these four things very uh, obvious arts is like econs job history so um if your subject combi your three h2s are uh, the three big subjects right consist of art subject for example history economics and literature right then you'll be considered as an art student Right, uh, geography, literature, econs, art, art student also, right? The three big subjects, three H2 subjects, right? The three main ones that you're taking. Whereas if it's just say physics, chemistry, mathematics, which is the common one, uh, PCM, uh, then you'll be considered a science student. Uh. So hybrid is basically when you have some arts and some science inside the three big ones. So uh quite common hybrid designs, uh, design, I think most schools will offer, uh, almost all schools will offer chemistry, econs, mathematics. Uh, physics equals mathematics. Chemistry equals mathematics is the most uh common. I would say it's like kind of hybrid, more towards the science side, right? Yeah, and uh, they have other weird hybrid combinations are uh, like uh geography, economics, and mathematics. Uh, then it's like geography is a very very art subject. Mathematics is very science. Then you have like geography, physics, and math. Wow, then it's like even weirder. So these like weird combinations with both a science subject and art subject, right? Uh, there's hybrid combination. Uh. So uh, depending on what school you go to, right, uh, some schools may not have the ideal combination that you want. Uh, what you can do, right, you can go to an open house and ask, or you can call the school and say, hello, you offer this or not? Yeah, so I went to the school and asked them, you offer this or not? So that, that's why. Uh. Um, yeah, so um, hybrid combinations, that generally, um, I think some schools might advise against it, but I honestly think it's like the same. I kind of took a hybrid. Like, I took physics, economics, and math. Uh, and I feel that econs is a very uh, it is quite it's more towards a science. Uh, uh, it's somewhere in between lah. I feel, yeah. So um, yeah. A any anything you say about hybrid combis? Uh, Shalin. Mm. I think yeah, like like what you said. Um, just just keep in mind that the school may or may not offer it. So please yeah. go and check right the website before you apply. Okay. Another thing to take note is really the timetable and scheduling law. Uh, yeah. yeah. If and think about your, I, I think, okay, maybe, maybe a bit early, right? But might want to start thinking about like what uni course you want to go to also. Yeah. And see like what is more applicable for like certain uni courses that you are interested in. Yes. Yeah. Mm. Uh, yeah. But uh, I think the, one of the most like uh, useful course, uh, uh, what most useful subject that you can take in JC for uni uh, is H2 Camp. So, uh, okay, depending, like, if you want to go engineering, then don't need that. But H2Chem really opens a lot of doors. And math also, like, H2Math and H2Chem. Uh, math, actually, not as much as Chem. Like. I feel Chem is still the most uh, useful one, like, right? Do, do you think so, Shelly? Do you have any other opinions? Mm. Sorry, you said, like, math, Chem, chem, chem is more useful uh, than math. Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, it opens more doors. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Like, I, I think Chem is, like, um, sort of like a hygiene factor. Like, you, you need to have it, that kind of thing. Uh, yeah, yeah. Ooh, at least at least for all the engineering la. yeah uh, chem, uh, nah, engineering are really uh, oh. I think so I think most engineering need chem also yeah so yeah. Me medicine you need chem la, 100% la. so you don't take H2 chem yeah, yeah. but medicine is like your whether you take PCME or BCME doesn't really matter I think yes chem most is the chem. important one yes yeah of course yeah, bio correct. will help la, but physics uh, you still can go in by PCME yeah, yes. but you know I've heard of like people who get like 90 points but they still don't get medicine. Yeah, it's an interview part lah. Yeah, correct, yeah. correct. So it depends. Really hard to get into lah. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Uh, okay, next. Uh, you you wanna answer another question? Yeah, someone asked, is econs very important? Um, to be very honest, I would say no. Not as important as um, I think like chem right. But okay, it depends on what again. It depends on what you wanna do um after after uni, right? As in, sorry, after A-levels, right? What uni course do you want to take? Of course, if you want to go into economics, like there's a economics course in like uni, right? Then you have to take econs, lah, right? It really depends on, yeah, what you want to do. Yeah. Um, but, uh, I think if you want to go to econs in uni, right, you can, you don't need to take H2 econs, you can take H1 econs. Hmm. Because you take H2 is better. Lah. So, um, okay, I think some of you all at this point, you all hear econs, you all might be choosing between H2 and H1 econs. That's a, uh, that's a dilemma a lot of students have. So I think, oh, should I take H? Uh, some of y'all might be combined science, right? Then you maybe want to take like uh physics right, as your H two. Uh, can you go to the, the common subject oh, combinations? Sorry, someone asked for the MI slide. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, never mind. Yeah. You just go to MI. So, uh, some of y'all might want to take like let's say physics as your main uh science, like or the H two. Then another science you take H one, like the smaller the, the smaller subject, right? Or the other way around. Then the H two subject, or then you might take econs. 
The other option is two signs and the small icons, like H1 icons. Like. So uh, the main difference between H1 and H2 icons right, is the examination format. So H1 icons right, has case study questions. So it's uh, similar to social studies, the examination format on the content. Huh? Social studies, you have case study, right? H1 and H2 both got case study, right? H2 got one more paper. H2 uh, icons, right, you all have an uh, essay. So it's basically they give you like one line, then they ask you to write like one whole page or two whole page, right? So it's like your social studies, you also have this component where they give you like, uh, oh, uh, one line of like, just one line is like 50 marks. Yeah, H2 icons has that, H1 don't have. H1 only case study. So you'll give you two case studies in three hours. H2 icons is uh, two papers, uh, and one of it is case study, one of it is essay. So if you like writing essays, then H2, you can, you can take H2 icons, uh, uh, but if you don't like writing essays, you really hate it, uh, then uh, H1 doesn't have that. So may, that might be a consideration. That's the main difference, right? And content-wise, right, is uh, you, I would say H1 content is about 60% of uh, H2 econs. Yeah. Mm. So uh, right. for those of you that are deciding between H1 and H2 econs, right, the main difference is really the essays. The, mm. the one line and then you write the two page. That's the main difference between H1 and H2 econs. Uh. Mm. Yeah. I think we have a lot of questions around like what's the difference between H1 and H2? Like is it very vastly different? Uh, I think Max already answered a bit around that question, right? But basically, mm, H2 math, okay, at least on math, lah, okay, is like split into pure math and um statistics, the statistics part of that. And like the H1 math, right, is maybe a I would say a third, one third of pure math plus the entire statistics portion. Yeah, um, H1 math, honestly, in my opinion, is much, much easier than um, H2 math. It is much closer to like A math, if you would, because um, the topics are like differentiation, integration, and then the, their applications as well, right? And then statistics. Yeah, so if I, I would strongly suggest a lot of the questions that we got also was like, if I don't take A math, like should I take H1 or H2 math? If you didn't take A math, no, don't take H2 math. You'll Just, die. Yeah, just take H1 math. Yeah. yeah. Oh, uh, H1 math uh, is basically um the, the pure math part. So there's two sections. The first section is kind of like A math. Lah. So if you didn't take, you should take H1 math. You still can, you still can do quite decent. Mm. But H2 math, right? Not only you need to take A math, you need to be like quite good at A math. Mm. So uh, yeah. Uh, so can you go to the... Yes, this like... Uh, yeah. And uh, let me see. Uh, a math and H2. Okay, uh, actually, uh, that's what I have to say about H1 and H2 math. Uh, yeah. Mm. I think um another question we got is around like H3 math. Okay, so maybe in general we, we let everyone know what is a H3 subject. La. So this is not something that you can apply for like when you first enter JC. You need to like go through the exams and then usually after promos, um they will offer you like a H3 subject if you are good in the subject. Yeah. So for instance, I had a student from CJ, right? He got offered like H3 math and H3 physics and um, I think H3 chem as well. So like they were asking him to whether he wanted any of those. Uh, so he had the option to choose, but I believe you can only take one H3 subject. Yeah. And um, the H3 subject is a bit special, right? Very, very different um, from what you do at, I guess, um, H2 level. Like most of the time you have to write essays and you have to go down to NUS to take like um, the class at NUS itself. Yeah. yeah. It's basically taking a uni module, a uni like chapter at JC level. La. Correct. Yes. Um, a lot of the questions we got was also around 4H2 versus like 3H2 plus 1H1. It's really about what you, what you can cope with, right? I think um, a lot of people couldn't cope with 4H2 and ended up dropping the last um, H2 to being becoming like a H1. Um, and yeah, la, it depends on individual la, and the subject that you think, obviously. Um, if I think going back to what we said, right? It depends on how content heavy the subject is as well. Like, don't overkill yourself, right? Um, and go for like a super content heavy subject combination. Yeah. Yes. Uh, okay, I got. I think I want to adjust something about first two, and also one more thing later is about what is economic. I think some students don't know what econ is about, so I think we can adjust it later. So, yeah. Mm. Uh, but first of all, first two. Right? I think some of you here maybe if you are considering taking first two, right? Uh, the rank points is still ninety rank points. So you okay? So I actually want to explain the ranking points behind 4H2. La. So uh, if you take 4H2 and you look at this uh, slide, right, you realize that eh, you get 20, 20, 20, 20, then 10, 10. So it's like, how come it's 100 points? So you do not get 100 points, uh, no, uh, you get still get 90, it's out of 90. So where does the extra 10 points go? Okay, so this is how 4H2 works, right? 4H2 uh, is basically, instead of taking three main and one small, right, you take four main subjects, which is definitely more content, la, right? So what's the good part about this? Uh? Okay, your weakest H2, so out of the four, right, 
your weakest one, for example, you get A, A, B, C, right? Your C will be taken as a H1. So out of 10. So basically, H1 subjects are the points are divided by two, lah, right? So uh, it will be taken as a H1 subject, right? The, the, rank, the rank points will be given to you as H1 subject, lah. So uh, they will take the weakest one, okay? So um, generally, like, um, I can see uh, two good uh, outcomes, uh, no, two good pros of taking H2 subject, okay? So uh, one pro of taking H2 sub, uh, for H2 subject is you can, let's say, after J1, you decide that, uh, oh, I feel like my chemistry is not really good. Okay, I drop chemistry. I mean, of course, considering your uni options as well. Uh, or you feel like, hey, suddenly, uh, let's say you take uh, geography, economics, literature, and math. Then you, you feel like, hey, my lead, I don't really like lead. Okay, I drop lead, that kind of thing. So you can choose to drop the H1 and it'll be much easier on you. Uh. So personally, I took 4H2. Then I feel that like chemistry, I don't really like, I'm not really good at it. Okay, drop chemistry. So I have much easier time. You know, I don't even need to study, get A. I mean, because uh, from H2, you drop the H1. Uh, the content difference is really a lot. So uh yeah, that's one that's one good part about thinking for H2. You can drop halfway. But if you drop, you cannot drop too late. La. Like you don't tell me one week before you level eight on take cannot. Once your entry proof come out, you cannot you can't like cannot really change really. If you want to change, it's very complicated. Yeah. Then another good thing about thinking for H2 is uh, okay, this is a small thing, but like if your uh like one subject unexpectedly do badly, like let's say all the while thinking, yeah, my math very good, I always get AA. So A level confirm A. Then scarly A level, your math, everything else, your so your, your results, everything else A, but your math C. Then that C, right, if it's a H2, right, it will be taken as five points deficit. Okay, this is a bit hard, but it basically is like kind of like a buffer at the end of the day. La. Okay, but you must remember that 4H2 has more content, so it's actually harder to get 90 rank points than a normal 3H2 and 1H1. So if you feel that, like, uh, it's, a, it's a challenge that is pushing yourself more. La. So if you feel that uh, I don't take up this phase, la. for what? It's easier to get 90 rank points if I don't take 4H2, right? Then, oh, I mean, yeah, sure. But all the top schools, I think they'll take, uh, the general the majority of the population will take 4H2, la, right? Yeah, so mm -hmm. uh, anything else you have to add on to this, Shadi? Mm, I think going back to the point of H3, I think there were some questions about like, what's the purpose oh, yeah, of H3? Okay. Like, H3, why, yeah. why do people even take H3, right? Um, to be honest, I think it depends on what you want to do in uni again, right? Like, for instance, if you take, if you want to be, um, I saw like Romero, I think, wanted to be a theoretical physicist, right? Then mm. if you take H3, yeah, if you take H3 physics, it definitely helps during, in your application, right? Because they see that, you know, you are generally like interested in like physics and stuff like that. If not, I honestly feel like if you cannot cope with just the 3H2 and 1H1 already, right, then taking H3 is a very bad idea. Yeah. Yeah. H3 yeah. does help with, uh, I think, scholarships also, right? Mm, yeah, definitely. And, uh, I think if you go uni, uh, you can like, uh, don't need to take this module, don't need to take that module. Uh. So you basically have a slightly easier time in uni, like very slightly. Yeah, mm. so that's about it uh, for H3. It's really those people that are too bored and they're going to take H3. Uh. Something like that. Mm. So I feel, yeah. Uh, oh, so the next, I think, important thing is what is economics? Uh, I think some of y'all don't really know what is economics about because from secondary four to JC1, economics is, econ is something totally different to you uh, that you all never heard before. Lah. Okay, so uh, Charlene, you want to explain what economics is? Well, I took H1 econs, eh, but oh, I can okay. try. Uh, I can try. Lah. From uh, what I know, it's, okay. it's about like demand and supply, right? Oh, that's just one <laughs> chapter. Lah. Okay, yeah, I, can, I yeah. don't know. Okay, I can try to explain a bit on what econ is. I'm a math teacher, la, but uh, econs, uh, okay, econs is actually, uh, it's considered an art subject or somewhere in between. La. They they have arts, it's surprisingly in SA, the department, uh, econs, is not under arts. Okay, but um, econs is uh, studying, it's not about money, okay, it's actually studying the market. Like, what I mean by the market, not the market, la, but studying like, um, like how um, we actually achieve like, how do I put this up? Studying the market. La. Um, how like, goods are priced right how 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 come suddenly we might decide to increase the price of a good decrease the price of a good right how do we achieve uh efficiency okay this term is very vague now la. okay but it's like uh okay demand and supply is one thing that we study so it's like uh why is it that let's say uh if let's say we have a shortage of iphone let's say today that uh, apple suddenly stopped producing iphones why does the price of iphones in, like like, what do you think will happen to the price of iPhones? Do you think it will increase or decrease, right? Uh, so I think an intuitive answer will be the price of iPhones will increase uh, because every suddenly they know more iPhone, right? Then iPhones are very precious, right? So uh, you'll be learn about like the more technical aspect of this, right? Why why do prices increase and decrease, right? Then what happens if Apple suddenly what well, they discover more metal, then they want to they want to produce more iPhones. So what happens to the price of iPhones? Well, so many iPhones, right? Becomes like invaluable, this kind of thing. So, uh, then after the price will go down, and what is the impact of this price going down on Apple's profits, this kind of thing. So, uh, it's a bit about money, but uh, it's uh, like this is generally what economics is about, lah. 
and uh yeah and about how the government can come in and uh help and implement policies right how does um government policies help like if they cut off trade from like singapore to china right then how will this impact our society right this kind of thing so uh yeah there, there are two main sections to economics one is micro and macro uh, how, how would you say how you kind of uh, summarize what micro and macro economics is uh, Shalin? I think like macroeconomics is more high level, right? Actually, I'm not too sure because yeah, like I said, I took H1, H1, right? But like, I think, okay, okay, I think micro is more like based on individual decisions versus macro is like um as a society or like the government, like the decisions that we make to move the market. Yeah. Yes. That is, yeah, yeah very high level how I will explain it. Yeah. yeah. So, so okay, a lot of questions in the chat about like, is the con similar to POA? Is the con similar to social studies? No, no, um, no, no Very, not. very different. Yeah. Definitely not. Uh, actually, yeah. Charlie, do you have any like econ stuff that you have on your computer that you want to, like that you can share? Oh. Um, yeah. If you have, then that'll be good. Uh, then you can see what it's about. Uh. Yeah. It's, it's a very technical subject. So there are a lot of graphs, more than you think. Uh, okay. There's really a lot of graphs of how like the market works and everything. So, uh, yeah. Uh, oh, there's people here. Okay. You can check that out. Yes. Mm. Uh, oh, no, you don't have people. I think we can just show like okay, uh the question. Oh, you Oops. can search like a general like uh economics question in just Google and then go to images. Oh this is good, this is good, this is good. You know, yeah, okay. Yeah. So the, I think it's the answer sheet like, actually. Yeah, but yeah, you can show them the questions. Yeah, is there a questions? You can just search economics questions, uh gen generally just want to get, get give them the idea of what it's like. Um uh, no, no, these are the answers. You can just like uh economics question. It doesn't be H2. Uh, okay, also can. Uh, oh, this is it. Yeah. Hey, ah, his answers also again. There suggest two ways uh, in which changes in the prices oh. of exports and imports might lead to a change in India's terms of trade in 2013 compared to 2005. Okay, this uh, I think it's uh, the English very cheap. Uh. Yeah. Yeah. I explain how a rise in terms of trade can be consistent with a strong rise in the value of India's net exports of agricultural products. Yeah, it's basically saying like how uh I think if India exports more like agricultural stuff, right? Then uh when you see, explain how a rise in the terms of trade can be consistent. How some uh, how it causes be like yeah, they've done economics very long already. Yeah. But uh, so it's, it's basically, uh, econs is a lot of writing. It's not like calculations. And it's basically like very little calculations that you make. It's not like, it's really like writing, like a lot of writing, 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 writing essays. Uh. You can see the bottom part is the answers. Uh. So um, you generally, I think your writing and your uh, explanation needs to be very good. Uh, you know, for you to excel here. Uh. But of course, there's templates that you can follow. Uh, so it's not scary. But this is a writing subject. So if you feel that you're writing very good uh, and you like to write essays, then you take H2. Uh. Yeah, H1 mm. is just case studies. Okay, H2 also got case studies. So it's an yes. art subject. Yeah. Uh yeah. So uh, but a lot of people like a lot of uh people like to take H2 econs. Uh. uh econs, right? Okay, the you the practicality of econs, like uh how whether it helps you go in, go into uni, right? Uh not really. Like you think H1 H2 econs doesn't like you don't really need it, right? But I feel it's a good soft skill to have. Uh. Like uh, when you grow up and you become an adult, right? I think economics is a very useful thing to understand. Uh. Right. Mm. Uh, like Shailene, what do you think? I think I uh, personally think econs help me a lot, lah. Like, uh, not just in uh academics, but like analyzing uh, like analyzing anything outside, lah. Like at this age. Yeah, definitely, definitely. I think yeah. it, it did help a bit, right? And like, I feel like um, a lot of my a lot of my friends actually said that in in JC they treat econs like um an art, right? But actually, when you go to uni and you take econs, right, it is both an art and a science. Uh, and and there's a lot more math involved in yes. that. Yeah. So it's very, it's very different. Yeah. Yes. For uni, mm. like for uni. Can you go back to the, right. the, the common subject combi side? Just keep it as there, then at least they can see. Oh, this is your photos. Oh yeah, this is my photos. Oh, by the way, for those that are wanting to adjust down each, right? Uh you can see the left top left picture. There's one guy that's just a bit differently. Yeah, yeah, that's just down. They see yeah, this where, is uh, just up. Yes, that's just up. Yeah. Uh it's the top button, uh, but yeah, that's me. So uh yeah, the the, the guy that's just differently is just down. Yeah. Yeah. Is just down, yeah. Uh, anyway, yeah, you can go back to the uh, common subject combi slide, yeah. yeah. Uh, okay, let's answer one more, a uh, few more questions. Okay, yeah, I can answer as long as I want. Um, okay, um, do you have any questions that to answer, Shane? Yeah, someone asked, What is the academic emphasis in SA? I think SA is kind of branded as a fun school, which is a quality she's looking for, but 
she's worried that the competitiveness might not be there to motivate students. Okay, I think honestly, I don't know about you, Max, but like for my batch, right, even though like we played a lot, there was also a lot of emphasis on like you guys have to do well, right? Um, like from the teachers, uh, and um, among my friends, I think, okay, it was fun because you would study after school to de- together. So it's not like you just spend time together like playing around, right? Like, yes, you play hard, but you work hard as well as a class, at least for me. Like after school, my friends and I would um, stay back in school and study together and um, yes. ask each other questions, etc., etc. et cetera. So yeah, I, I do think that you can get both from essay, the fun side, and the more academic side, and it does help that the teachers are also often in school, right? And you can just go to the staff room and like not on the door to like ask them questions. Um, yeah, which is my experience. Uh, and they are super on about like consultation. So like helping you out after school. So that definitely helped me a lot. And in fact, when I was in JC, right, I didn't even have like a H2 math like tuition or anything. Um, I just relied on like consulting my own teacher. Yeah. Oh, okay. I see. Uh, I think uh to add on to that, I think uh whether you how well you do in JC really depends on your company also. Like like whoever you hang out with really affects a lot. So like if your friends all like every day, hey, don't you study that play, come let's play ML together. Then like you confirm also same right, you FOMO everything. Then you also start playing ML with them. Then never study. Yeah, but if your friends right, so my group of friends we actually like we play a lot, but we study a lot. So we make sure to study first, then we play. So we always like study like uh. Like a like few hours like, at the time now that we go and enjoy that. So um, okay, last time what we used to do is I uh, don't do this, uh, but uh, we used to like kind of like do, uh some days if the, the lecture like a one lecture only, right, we kind of like just uh, don't go to school and then uh, we we just go outside and study la. So uh, we go outside and study like a lot, like we'll study like 10 hours that kind. Then then you can justify that la. But uh, we study 10 hours and then we we will go and like have a bit of fun after that. La. But uh so so you must strike a balance and it's the people that hang out with also la. Uh, we closer to A levels. We uh, my friends and I had this, had this group where we like, uh, where we track how much we study la. So the loser had to do a forfeit for the whole group la, Basically, it's like you have to pay money to them or something. Yeah. So uh, we end up clocking like thirty something hours in a week like Each of us, so 36, 36 hours of studying in a week la. It's quite a lot la, if you think about it. One day like seven six hours like that. Yeah. Uh, I mean, some of my study more. I don't know, but yeah. If we, so I think it's just company and your self discipline as well. How like how far can you like say no like they ask you hey, let's go out don't study today right? go out right? then yeah if you feel that like you're behind already right then uh yeah like, so it's just company and discipline i feel mm. Mm. okay uh mm. let's answer another question now uh. yeah sorry i was answering some questions in the chat oh okay uh then i'll um. answer one more in the chat right okay uh is job in jc a lot more content okay i personally didn't take job but uh geography i heard uh, a very very content if you like like you have a lot of notes that is like super thick, very, very thick. Uh, yeah, so yes, it's a lot more content in JC. I, I took pure job in secondary school before, and uh, from what my friends say, yeah, la, it's a lot more. La. So uh, be prepared to write a lot of essays for a job if you want to take his two job. Uh, yes. Okay. Um, prerequisites for taking 4 H2. So uh, I think if I didn't answer this, uh, prerequisites for 4 H2, right? Uh, I think it does differ from uh, school to school, but generally there's uh, uh, it's, it's quite consistent. La. It differs a bit, la, but I think the you if you get single digit, then they like to take. Those that go into the like, top five, I think in general, like BJ, Hua Chong, uh, RI, right? usually the, the majority of school uh, will take 4 H2 one, like, like 90%, 95%. Those people that won't take 4 H2 are... Uh, Maybe it's like DSA and then they like maybe got like 15 or that, yeah, then they won't take 4H2, but they will still go into RI. Uh, for SAJC, 4H2, there's only uh, two classes. So it's about th- 50 people are there, 5 0 uh, 50 people taking 4H2. Along the way, some of them drop, not a lot, but uh, yeah, so, so you must hit like a single digit raw score, uh, not net, uh, raw, you know, to be qualified for 4H2, at least in SAJC. So I think it's generally consistent throughout all schools. Uh. For a single digit, yeah. So, uh, as for the pros and cons, we can't mention just now already. I'm thinking for these two, yeah. Okay, so uh, doesn't vary that much among JC stuff, but the prerequisite case okay, roughly single digit, yeah. Okay, um, but do consider properly if you want to take out. Uh. Anyway, if you want to drop, you can drop along the way, lah. Yeah. Uh, okay, Shalin, are you still answering questions in the chat? Yeah, but uh, I think okay. I think it's okay. I think I can just answer in here as well, right? Someone okay, asked yeah, me, yeah, um. DHS or ACJC, I think it depends on like where you live, um, everything, right? Um, but in general, I find a 
like people have said ACJC the culture is better lah. Yeah. Um, um yeah. What what is the passing for four H two subjects? Um, as in I I don't I I think the passing is just because okay in JC you have like A B C D, um and then we have this grade called S, and U. Sub pass. S is yeah. Okay S is called a sub pass, which is like technically a pass. Um, but definitely oh, don't aim really. for that, right? U is yeah. ungraded, which is like fail. F nine now basically. Yeah, correct, correct. Yeah. So um. What is the passing for 4H2 subjects? Um, um, at least get a sub-pass and above, I would say. Uh, okay, usually, uh, I don't know where, what this person is asking, but I think um, if you're asking what is the promotion criteria, right, hmm. then is you pass, uh, usually uh, it's 2H2 and 2H1, if I'm not wrong. So you need to pass, which is get 45% and above overall for the year. Right, so uh, you're, of course, like secondary school, you have like, First exam, second uh, mid year, and then you have like uh, the term three exam, and then you have end of year, right? So all these will have a uh, weightage in your final score. End of year being the highest, uh, 60% usually. Okay. So your final score uh must be above 45 marks, 45% in order for it to be considered as pass. So 45% is E, E grade. So it's a pass. Uh. So you want to promote uh 2H2 pass and 2H1 pass. That is the passing. Uh. But if you're asking about the passing mark, is 45 marks. Uh. 45 marks and uh, uh, 45 to 50 is E, E grade. Echo, yeah. Uh, okay, so one Casey asked, if you don't take AMF, you should just give up going to the science stream. Okay, uh, honestly, right, if you don't take AMF, uh, it may not be that big of a problem if you are not taking H2 math. Okay, so if you don't take AMF, definitely don't take H2 math. You don't take H2 math, cannot take H2 math. Okay, I don't think the school allow you, okay? But uh, if you want, if you're talking about taking like physics, chemistry, and econs, right? So I know a friend that takes H2 physics, H2 chemistry, H2 Econs and H1 Math. So uh, it's, not the, it's not the common subject combination. He's taking like two sciences, one Econs, and then H1 Math, right? So uh, that person, okay, so you can you can do that. Lah. So SA, SA does offer that, uh, from what I know. Uh, so you, that is considered like hybrid because there's Econs inside. Lah. So um, it is, I would say it's more linked to science because there's physics and chem. So if you don't take, to answer your question, if you don't take AMF, you can still go to science stream, sort of, because like, there's Econs inside. But I uh, don't think H2F. You should take H1F. Okay, that's 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 why I said the question lah. Yeah. Uh, and if you the next one from Yansin, if I don't take lit in secondary school, can I take it in JC? So in general, any uh subjects that you don't take in uh, secondary school, uh, if you want to take it on in JC, right, can. Uh, but you take it as a H1 level. So for example, if let's say you don't take physics, you secondary school, uh, you take biochem. Then you go JC, you realize, hey, I want to try physics, H1 physics, which I don't think anyone will do, lah, right? Uh, you can, but don't think to just try H1, okay? Uh, it might be a bit tough lah, uh, compared to the rest because usually people that take H1, um, they, they like to, I mean, uh, from what I see, lah, uh, they take the subject before, maybe they're not that good at it, then they take H1. Lah. So they, they like, for example, they take physics and chem in secondary school, then they take like H1 physics, something like that. Uh, yeah, so you, those are the people you're competing with. La. But it's possible. So uh, if you really want to do it, then you can. La. So if, let's say, you don't take me in secondary school, you can take me in JC, but H1. La. Yeah. Uh, okay, Shalin, you want to answer the question? Yeah, yeah. Sorry, I was typing. Oh, you're answering in the chat, is it? Yeah, correct. Okay. Uh, but I'll, I'll just answer as well, right? Um, yeah, okay, okay. Um, let me see. So someone asking H2 bio or H2 job, which is more manageable. Oh, oh I think both God, are super okay. content heavy. Yeah. That's a very weird question. I think, I think it depends. Eh? Like it depends yeah. on what you are more inclined towards, right? Like nice. which subject do you like better? Like it's I think very would, different things. Yeah, correct. So very difficult to answer this. Uh but, I can uh, I mean can try to answer la. I, I don't think there's a better subject comparing the two. Again, like what Shannon said, it's which one you like more. Uh if you enjoy doing it, yeah. La. And uh, I think one more thing to look at is the uh examination format. So geography is a lot of essays. La. Bio, um, there is a lot of studying, it's more technical, I would say. Uh, but there are I think there are essay portions also, you know. Not not like 25 mark essays, la. they are like 10 mark kind of like one whole page where you describe like the uh, like how something works like, in the body, la, that kind of thing. So there are, I, I think it maybe in set four body might have that also, but um both are very content heavy. That one that one has to be agreed on that. Yeah. So um like there isn't a better one like, you know, like is this what you like mostly. And, and I also take note of the examination format. Yeah. Mm. Okay Max, I think we each answer one more question and then we'll we will call it a night because it's gonna uh, be 10 p.m already. Uh, um okay uh I can answer more if you need to leave I can answer more la. I can stay behind answer more. 
Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, then I'll transfer the host to you lah. Sure, sure. Okay. Can. Yeah. Then, um, uh, wait ah. Uh, yeah, maybe we just answer a few, a couple more questions or. Oh. Yeah, okay, okay. Yeah. Um, is there a JC that will give you higher chance to go to uni? Uh, I don't think there's such a thing lah. Uh. Every JC you go to, there's an equal chance of going to uni lah. Uh. It's what you make of that experience. Okay. Um, overall, is there a motivating environment in ACJC and SAJC? Plus, will there be a lot of pressure put on you if you score like Cs or Bs? Is it overly competitive? Okay, I think AC and SA in general, right? Um, like what we say, it's a very fun culture. Um, and will there be a lot of pressure put on you if you score Cs and Bs? No. In fact, for most people, right? I, I don't know, I don't know about your experience, Max, but most of my friends, like, when they were scoring Cs and Bs in JC, they were quite happy with it, lah. Yeah, it is quite difficult to co- be, like, that consistent, lah, in, in that sense in JC, right? Uh, it, yes. it is very tough, lah. And um, in AC and SA, is it overly competitive? I don't think so. I don't feel so. Um, But then again, it's who, who you surround yourself with. Yeah. yeah. Poly or JC easier to go uni? Um, I think... This is just based off statistics. Um, it's slightly easier to go to JC, uh, uni from JC. Yeah. If we are one to two points off, can we still apply as top choices? To be honest, um, I have a few friends who applied, like even though they missed the cutoff point by a couple of points, um, and yeah, they were able to appeal into the school. So, but it is a bit risky. Lah. So that is something that... Um, I think you can consider trying lah. Yeah. If we drop from JC to poly, will there be interviews held for the poly we are going? Um, I have a friend who did that and she didn't have to go through any interviews. Um, in fact, I think it was quite an easy process. It was just like year two, she just transferred to, to go poly. Yeah. Mm. Any other questions? Wait, let me see. Maybe I just show the. Oh, uh, oh, by the way, uh, do you just address the one to two points off one? Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Never mind. Uh, let me see. Uh, can okay, answer more questions. Uh. So, those are that want to ask more. Okay. Yeah. Oh, my God. I got so many messages after that. Uh, okay, here's see. the A level grading for anyone who wants to see it, right? And A is like an 80 and above, B is like 70 to 79, and so on and so forth. Lah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you can see over here. Yeah. Oh, by the way, I think, do we explain contrasting subject? I don't think we did yet, right? I don't think so. Um, yeah, no, we, uh, we, start, we did slightly, but basically, you have to, you cannot just take like all um, arts. You have to take a mix of like at least one science if you, if you are in the art stream. And if you're in the science stream, you have to take at least one arts. Lah. And H1 econs or or rather, econs is considered as an art in JC. Yeah. Yeah. So if you take triple science, uh, too bad. You cannot take physics, chem, bio, maths. Can't do that. You have to mm. take at least one art. Uh. So usually people choose econs uh, because it's the least art art. It's like compared to geography, history, literature, it's like uh, it's more technical. Uh, yeah. Mm. Uh okay, let me see. Uh, time trial. Does the time trial has limited slots? Uh yes. Uh if Lily is still here, yes, the time trial is quite limited slots. So do sign up first if you want. Uh yeah. Okay. Uh oh yes, Eden John. Uh yeah, okay, yeah, whatever. Okay, what does uh Joshua Chia? What does AMA stand for? AMA stands for AM Academy. Yes, okay. Uh so let me see. Should you go to TJC or SAJC, right? Okay, so from Hari, if you're still here, uh, TJC or SAJC distance is the same. Okay, honestly, uh, I would prefer to go SAJC, uh, at least from my house. So uh, SAJC, uh, if your house got a bus 966, okay, 966 uh, nearby, I would go, go SAJC because uh, it goes by the expressway and it's very fast. In the morning, right, it can take like 15 minutes right, for the bus journey, even though it's at like Potong Pasir that area. Right, so I stay in Marine Parade lah, and at Potong Pasir there is 15 minutes. It's very fast. It's like six stops only because it goes by expressway. Uh, TJC, I think because it goes through the neighborhood uh, area, Bedok is quite a, in the uh, neighborhood, it's quite a residential area. Lah, right? uh, so it might take um, a bit longer to get there lah, depending on where you stay. Lah. So I would still say that SCJC is more accessible because you stay east, you stay west, right? 
uh, there's buses to go there. Right? Like 985 comes from the west. If you all stay at the west, Bukit Panjang got 985 BT over there. You just take the bus down. It's like a few stops only, very fast. Huh? You come go to the SAGs. Then there's MRT there also, Potong Pasir, Purple Line. So those are that stay Serangoon, Sengkang, right? Can come to SAGs very easily. I think it's like Bishan also very easy. Huh? So it's a very prime location at SAGs. Yeah. The MRT is about 10 minutes away, 5 minutes away from the school. Huh? 5 to 10. Yeah. So, um, I would say, personally, because I got SCJC, that's why I'm biased. Uh. So, yes, SCJC uh, as compared to TJC. Yeah, uh, okay. Um, let me see. Uh, Shani, you want to answer the question? Yeah, someone asked um, SAJC or ASRJC from Marine Parade. I think, uh, SA. I think, yeah, SA. SA, yeah. 966. Yeah, 966 is, is a godlike bus. I tell you, it's, it's like, it really just gets there very fast. Uh. It can go anywhere, uh, that bus. So uh, because of that bus in Marine Parade, and I see it's close to Marine Parade, so if you stay there, if you stay towards the Neptune Court side, the VJC side, right, then you need to take a bus down to Parkway or take a bus down to Steel Road, then you can take 96. But uh, other way, it's very fast, uh, 96. So uh, usually I'll reach school around 7.30. I can wake up about 6.40 and reach on time. 6.30, 6.40 and reach school 7.30. So I bathe and I pull my uniform and then uh, go to school. Yeah, so... Uh, yeah, I would say that uh, if you stay in Marine Parade, SCJC. La. ASR, I think, is quite inaccessible because at Yochukang. That means you have to take East-West Line, then you chase City Hall, or you have to take Circle Line up to Yochukang also can. La, but uh, it's, it's harder to get there because you need to take train. And it's not by Expressway or whatever. So, yeah, SCJC. Mm. SCJC someone, asked, mm, someone asked, do we have a lot to memorize for Econs? Um, quite a, I, I think quite a bit, la, actually. Um, yeah. I would say Especially if you take to... H2 Econs, right? Mm, H2 Econs, honestly, the subject load uh, is just a few more chapters, like two, three more chapters, uh, that's about it. So, um, memorizing, yes, you do have to memorize a bit, but I wouldn't say it's, if you are considering Econs and another art subject, any other art subject, right, job, Econs, lead, whatever, right, Econs, I think, got the least memory. Uh. It's a lot of understanding, actually, Econs, and understanding and application. Yeah, so, so um, like, understand how the market works, understand... Uh, why if the, there's Apple produce less phones, uh, the price will go up, right? How, why is it like that? Right? You can understand then, I honestly think there's not much to memorize. Lah. It's quite similar to math in the sense that it's quite logical. But of course, the examination format is very different. Lah. It's all essays. Lah. So it's a lot of thinking involved. So, so uh, not too much to memorize as compared to other subjects. Yeah. What do you, what do you think about that, actually? Um, I think, yeah, like what you said, because, okay, there's case studies also. Yeah. For, mm. for econs, yeah. It's not as like, Okay, but lit is another one that I think you have you don't have like as much to memorize because ah, yeah, you, yeah. Um, you have the book. Yeah. Yeah. So um depends on depends on mm, yeah, your inclination towards the subject as well. Mm, yes. Yeah. Mm. Okay, and then I, uh, I see a question from Susanna. Oh sorry, Shelly, do you have anything more to say about that? Yeah, I think like we're still receiving a lot of questions. So I'm just uh, like uh, because every time the question comes in, right? It's like push the question up. Then I'm like yeah. reading it halfway. Uh, uh, yeah. Okay. Okay, I'll, I'll answer like you need to go into golf first. But uh, we might not be able to answer everything tonight. I think I'll answer everything I go on next morning. Already. So uh, yeah, just mm -hmm. sorry about that. But okay, um, so I just want to answer Susanna. Do you think it's okay to put a school as well? My choice, even though I'm one point away. Yes, definitely okay. So uh, if cannot, then never mind. We answered this already, actually. Oh, you answered this already. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. As in, okay, whether you can get or not is different. But uh, I think for me, I put my uh, a point a school that was one point away on my first choice. Then they gave my second choice. Uh, so uh, not much difference. Uh. You want to try, just go, go for it, okay? Mm. Uh, yeah, uh, let me see. Um, I can maybe, appeal, lah. Uh, yeah, I can appeal. But yeah. uh, I, I got a bit lazy lah, towards the... When oh, GC okay. I was just like, ah, never mind, lah, stay here, lah. Because it's quite fun okay. anyway. I meet people already. Uh, you, if you appeal, yeah, like, uh, you, you make friends day, already, right? Uh, if first day go orientation, then you go the VGC appeal. Uh, then the second day you come in, everyone knows each other, you're like, huh? what's going yeah, on? Yeah, right? yeah, true. Yeah. Okay, okay, what uh, do you think of the support the teacher gave to DSA athletes? Um, Actually, I don't think that's a very big distinction. Like, they just treat all the students the same. So that's not like, there wasn't any like special support in that sense like, for most schools. Yeah. Um, so. Okay. Hmm. That's based okay. on my experience. From, okay, from Cindy Chen, uh, will you say that combined science students struggle a lot when taking H2 chem? Uh, okay, so you are going from combined science student uh, and you are trying think, think of taking H2 uh, science, uh, so physics, chem, or bio, right? Uh, it is possible, but you do need to realize that uh, most of the people taking this, uh, they take pure. So pure and combine the syllabus uh, in secondary school, uh, uh, I would say it's about 20%, uh, 30% difference anymore. So the question, the content-wise is that much, uh, but so they learn a bit more chapters, 20% more, 
But the way they ask the question is more in-depth and more, needs more thinking. That's the main difference between pure and combined science at the secondary school level. So H2 chem, right, is the same thing. They ask the questions more in-depth. So if you are from combined, you need, you, you need to realize that you might need to study a bit harder. Like you need to push up and uh, you are competing with pure science students from SEC4. So that's why you remember. But it's possible. So I, I do know a friend that he took uh, combined science, he got A1 lah. Right, then uh, he go take his two chem, he got A. Lo. So uh, yeah, you need to be quite strong in your combined science. Uh. A, A2, A1 still can. You get B3 and B2 for combined science. Uh, I think better not. Uh, it's a bit dangerous. Uh. You can still try, of course. Right? Yeah, so it's still possible, definitely. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, 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 Shannon, anything else to say? Um, yeah. Sorry, I was just reading the question, right? And then someone uh, was like, my brother seemed to always be late when he went to SA. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm also always late. I go to SA. Yeah. Then the DM. Serious? Me, yeah, yeah I, I late until I got fair conduct. I think like one semester. Are you like, serious? One term, I think 15 times. Then, uh, Can you get SA, detention uh, ones, yeah? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. So after, okay, so if you late like three times, right? The fourth time, I think they give you three hour detention. So detention, <laughs> uh, uh, I don't know if you all go before. Uh, so because you're quite kid, right? Detention is basically when you just sit there without your phone and like you can read a book. Or uh, you can study. That's all. They they'll take away your phone lah. Uh, but yeah. so what what some of us do? Oh is wait, it's in it's from the general office, right? Yeah, 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 correct. So we we will I'll, I'll bring two phones. The my my like last time old phone. I'll just give them that. Yeah lah. So that's what I do. Uh, then okay, if you're late for the fifth time and above uh, every time after that is a five hour detention. So twelve thirty to five thirty, right? Uh, you will be at the, just sitting there doing nothing lah, or you can study lah. So what about lesson, right? If you have lesson, never mind. Twelve thirty, you still have to report there. So that's detention. So uh yeah, just let until get back on that. But uh if your but if let's say your brother is late when you go essay, it's probably just a waking up late thing. La. I don't think it's a I don't think it's anything to do with essay. La. But essay they have some late days. La. Some school has some late days. I think CJ has quite a bit of late days. La. So late days is when you report to school a bit later, like 8 30 or that. Uh essay is 8 30 on Thursdays, you know, wrong. Uh that's last time. La. I think maybe uh maybe they change the late day, no? Uh yeah, I think they, they want students to sleep more. La. So after some feedback. So actually, um when you go to a school, you realize they'll tell you like, uh, oh, a lot of the implementations are, for example, dress down and late days are, they are suggestions by students. Uh, and then, yeah, so so when you suggest something, uh, maybe it can become true. Uh. So we tried, uh, I mean, as a student, you hear that, you from home try to suggest a lot of funny things. Uh. Yeah, we did, uh, I did as a student also, I tried to suggest a lot of funny things. Uh, but then, uh, I mean, of course, they'll entertain the ones that are more realistic. Uh. But yeah, so I think all schools, they do take into consideration students feedback a lot and you've seen that just now in all the feedback that the students give us a lot yeah mm, yeah Shalene anything at the end mm, I think yeah as in for the late coming part about essay that's a that's a person thing I don't think that's a school thing um yeah and then okay next question does SR, ASRJC have a warm culture or friendly culture um from what I've heard they do have like a warm culture um yeah, I, I think that's what I've heard from my friends. Lah. So, yeah, that's it. And then, okay, okay, maybe just addressing some of the questions that I answered right in the chat. Someone asked, is it compulsory to have a laptop during JC or uni? I think yeah. for uni, it is compulsory because like, I think especially now, most of your lessons are like online. In JC, I'm not sure now because home-based learning, right? Maybe you do need a laptop, but like for PW, you need a laptop also. Yeah. But you can always use the school computer, lah. Yeah. Um, should I just go to a random poly course or go to MI? Um, I think that depends. For me, more of time is if you sort of know what you want to do, right, in the future, then I don't think poly is a bad choice for you, right? Um, I feel like A levels is more for like the people who don't really know what they want to do. Um, when they, yeah, for uni or like don't really know what they want to do in the future yet. That's why, um, yeah, A-level is sort of the easier choice to make at this point in time. Yeah. Uh, yeah, but just be careful about that. Like, because A-levels are just, I see just now, it does require, it's a lot more rigorous. Like. So, you be prepared for a lot more studying. Like, really a lot more. And, uh, like, yeah. So, just be mindful of that when you go at mine. Because at the end of the day, you're still taking the same uh, exam as uh, everyone that came to JC. Like. So, yeah. yeah. Um, uh, I've, I've seen this question a couple of times. How different is O level bio and JC bio? Very different. Yeah, very different. And depends if you take H1 or H2 bio also. But if you if you intend to take H2 bio, it's very, very different. Yeah. Uh, I would say that the format of them asking the questions, right, remains roughly the same. So for example, in pure physics, right, 
from secondary school. Oh, pure chem. Oh, I take pure chem. Uh, you all have like uh, MCQ, then you have like paper two. I'm not sure if you have paper three, but uh, there's a practical also. So MCQ, uh, then you have the open-ended, then you have a practical. So in JC, it's similar, lah. MCQ, practical, open-ended. So the examination format is the same, right? It's just more content and more in-depth, right? Uh, that's about it. Lah. So if you're asking about like how different is it, right? Uh, you're asking about examination format and uh, learning style is about the same, but it's definitely a lot more content. That's where it's different. It's a lot more content, it's a lot more in-depth, it's a lot more rigorous. I feel like that's where it's very different. Lah. Yeah. So um, anything you'll say about that, Shalin? Um, yeah. As in, I think in general, even math, right? Like the format that they ask the question is also the same. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. yeah, but it's okay, a so, lot more stuff. Lah. Mm. Oh my God, this is so funny. Someone's like, can we use phone in class? <laughs> can, wow, oh my God. JC uh, they, they don't really... They are not oh my God. Like, yeah, okay. Things, so uh, in JC, right? You don't even need to ask permission to go toilet, sort of lah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's quite disrespectful. Uh, so I still ask lah. Uh. Yeah, 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 I still ask lah. But like, no, yeah. as, especially last time in lectures. Yeah. Oh, yeah, lecture, lectures, right? Yeah. yeah. So, but uh, I think now all the lectures are online, so not so relevant. Yeah. I, oh, I think, oh, I, we haven't really explained them like lecture tutorial, right? So, um, okay, I, I can explain it briefly lah. So, in JC, right? Uh, so, secondary school, what you have is just every day you have one teacher for one subject, teaching you the uh, like it's, it's in a classroom with like your class. Uh. And then the only people you remember is in your class. Uh. So for JC, it's a bit different. So you still have lessons as per normal in your class, about 25 people with the teacher. Uh. So you have one uh, teacher assigned to you for that subject. So in JC, we call it a tutor. Uh. Uh, it's not tuition, but it's just that we call it a tutor. So the lesson, right, the normal lesson is called tutorial. So we still have that normal lessons as if like secondary school. Uh, okay. Uh, and then we do have lectures as well. So lectures is where it's like all in one big hall and then like yeah, you know what lecture is uh, right? Yeah. So uh the okay, so why what's the difference between two? Uh? uh lectures, right? They usually go, they usually do lectures when they are teaching new content. So like they are going through a new chapter, right? And then they just okay, everyone come to the lecture theater, then they'll teach the new content, right? But tutorials is for when they basically when you go and do your homework, then you come back, right? To go through is in a classroom setting. That's usually what uh What's the difference? Uh? Yeah. So between lecture and tutorial. So you have uh, about 50, 50, uh, 50 percent of each lectures and tutorials, right? Yeah. So I think some students they move on to JC, they might struggle to understand a bit of the lectures because it's such a big group, right? Then you cannot ask questions openly. 900 people are you confident don't have to waste your ask question on like I also don't know, like, like you waste your be short and yeah, very awkward lah, basically. So uh yeah. But you can ask those in your in your tutorial lessons, your classroom lessons, lah. So uh that's still okay, lah. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, um, okay. Um, Shalin, you want to answer any, any question? Mm, yeah, I was just answering. Okay, someone asked, like, is iPad or laptop more important in JC? Um, I would say laptop. Ah, and then yeah. someone asked, yeah. I, I feel oh. iPads, yeah. Oh, my, a really? lot of my students, uh, they use iPad. Uh, of course, uh, you can write, uh, like, mainly it's because of touch screen, so you can, like, write notes on it. So, uh, lecture, like, it's not like secondary school, you cannot even use phone. In JC, they allow you to like use iPad, get notes. It's very practical, uh, very efficient also, right? So you can oh, just... Oh, but like, I, yeah. I was thinking more for like PW and stuff. Uh, P, uh, PW, uh, actually technically can use a laptop, uh, iPad to do also. Uh, but, um, oh, but quite difficult, right? Uh, yeah, it's a bit difficult, uh, so PW. Yeah, yeah. then so, someone asked like, will you be disadvantaged if like you take um H1 math? Not, uh, okay, I think so in terms, P, of, uni, P, I think in terms yeah. of uni courses, yeah, then I was like, yeah, like it might be lah, uh, because... Honestly, a lot of the courses, the prerequisite is H2 math. Uh, yeah. yeah. Actually, uh, later I can share the, the courses prerequisite. Oh, why not? I send the link to you. Then you can share it. Or if oh, you're leaving wait, soon, wait, I can which, share it. Which uh, thing? I'm looking at the NUS uh, prerequisite for uni. Oh, uh, uh, do you mean the IGP? Uh, no, it's not IGP. It's the entire, like, what they require. You can just uh, click on the link. Yeah, I sent you on WhatsApp. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, so you can just click and like show show them like, uh so like what we're gonna show you is basically like the uni requirements of whatever subject you talk about. So which course require which subject? Okay, not which course, uh, maybe like which field require which subject. So yeah. Have you see it? Yeah, I sent already on the chat. Uh no, no, as in you can show them on the share screen. Oh okay. Yeah, so it's better. Yeah. Yeah, so uh you take single degree course. No, no, on top, on top. Yeah, uh, on, uh single degree course. Uh, yeah, uh, on top of the, I think it's IP. On top, on top, uh, more, more, on top, on top. Ah, H2, 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 this one, yes. 
yeah so uh you all can see okay so actually i think a common option for you that don't know we know what to do is take business uh. business you can see uh, uh h1 pass business is basically business administration uh, uh business administration accountancy is basically account uh poa la, which is a more steroids version uh. business analytics uh, is not it's not really the same as business uh business analytics is like you really analyze business and like okay it's a, it's a much harder course to get in la. the normal business that you everyone refers to is business administration which is the one at the top of the page la. Okay, you can see that H1 pass in mathematics or good O level pass in uh, O level pass in AMF. That's all you need. So if you are from EMF and you decide, hey, I want to go to B, uh, business administration, then uh maybe you might want to take H1 math lah, in uni. Uh if you take H2, definitely lah, no, no doubt you can go in. Lah. So reason being business, right? Inside there is a bit of math inside uh at a uni level that you need to do. Lah. So uh yeah, so that's one course that uh, is quite popular. Another one is computer engineering. Like computer engineering is, I think, it's quite explanatory, self-explanatory. Like it's a very mathematical course that requires a lot of logic. So uh, math and FMF is required, H2. Yeah. So uh, you have stuff like, uh, I think engineering is also, engineering requires mathematics. Like, uh, physics, okay, so you see that they don't say physics here. So how come they don't say physics? Like, physics is just a good to have. Like, so you realize you don't need it here. Like, uh, yeah, but it will definitely help. So maybe you have an easier time there. Like. So um. I think business is important then. Uh, I information security maybe not so. Uh, uh, humanities and sciences I think, uh, is uh quite popular lah. But uh, they don't really have much details here lah. So mm -hmm. humanities and sciences right? Okay, let's go a while. Sorry yeah. Humanities and sciences are for those uh people that want to take like um for example math or like uh life science or uh chemical uh no, not chemical engineering yeah life science or math or like chemistry you know it's kind of like pure subjects or something like that or you want to take like English or literature or history right. In uni, ah, so this humanities and so of course they vary in um in in requirements ah, so that's why they don't have the details here. Like. So it's a lot of details for this, but uh, generally if you want to take something like um you you probably it'll be good to, to take H two subject at JC level like. So you want to take H two, you want to take uni at uh you want to take history in uni, you take H two history like. something like that. So it'll definitely help like. Yeah. Uh yeah, so I think uh medicine may and law maybe uh law I think uh, law you need GP. you need a yeah. good GP grade yeah law is GP yeah. so GP is basically English uh, yeah okay wait uh, this is a lie they say at least a B right no usually you have to get an A yeah because yeah. I mean at least a B is like like I think just like to show everyone that they like in easy lah but uh I feel that like law is a hard course to get in uh, and usually people that go on law their English and argumentative skills are very 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 good like very good. So uh yeah, medicine is important. Uh, is uh is one important. But you notice that uh they they said H two pass in chemistry and either biology or physics. So you can take PCME or you can take biochem. Uh, PCME physics chem. Uh, so you can do both lah. Uh, uh, you can still get into medicine. But medicine, the uh, for those of you that are interested in medicine, right? The uh, thing about medicine to consider is even though you get a perfect score, you might not get in. Okay, the important part is of course you a good score is good uh, Above eighty five is uh solid already. So um um. Basically, equivalent L one R five is like seven. You get seven six is good enough really raw uh, to to get into medicine. But the thing is, you need to ace the interview. Like right? the interview, they have like three rounds or something like that. So like one thousand people apply, right? And then only like two hundred fifty got in because they have like so many rounds of interview. Then they just keep eliminating people, shortlisting and everything. So yeah, medicine is very very rigorous, very stressful. So yeah, so for those who are considering H two chem is a must lah. Yeah. So yes, and uh maybe the rest of it maybe not so uh popular uh. Yeah, so we have currently gone through the popular one, but you can generally see like H2 chemistry, uh, pharmacy is another one that H2 chemistry. Um, H2 maths is also quite um prominent, like, as you can see. Can you scroll down? Maybe I think there's more, right? Uh, data science and econs. Uh, very, very good, good pass in H2 maths. Yeah, data scientist, la. <laughs> environmental studies. Yeah, so uh, generally this is it. La. So you can see the distribution of like roughly what you want. I mean, it's quite intuitive also. La. You go something like, you want to take engineering, obviously you need math and physics. La. I mean, not physics, la, but you need math, right? something like that. La. You definitely don't need history. La. So you can't get an idea behind all this. La. Okay, so when you when you consider your combination, do think about what uni, com uh, what uni course you want. Okay, uh, yeah, the important ones are definitely chemistry and mathematics. La. Yeah. Then and another thing to take note of is like your indicative grade profile, right? This one, I think, is more for after A levels. It's basically so point, is, uh, yeah. Yeah, like how they see whether you're eligible based on your A level grade, right? So for instance, that like you see law, you require like all A's in order to get in because that is just how historically um people have been applying la, to these courses, right? You see medicine, all A's. For like um a course like for instance bioengineering, like the top 10%, right, of the students in bioengineering get like um A, 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 
but the bottom 10% are getting like B, B, and C, C. Yeah. So this dash means that after this is your H1 math. Yeah. So we'll, I'll also send this link into the chat for y'all. Let's take a look. Hmm. Then you can see most of the courses require. Yes. Yeah. I say most of the more popular courses require like straight A's and stuff. Yeah. Okay. Um, like all these also. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Someone asked what are the relevant subjects you'll be taking if you want to study global studies, political science. So uh those of you that want to take like something like to do with like uh, politics or like some like sociology, maybe sociology studying society, right? Uh important, I mean there isn't really a subject that you need to need to take right here. Yeah. Uh, but you do you might want to take consider a few subjects because it might help you in terms of the analysis and like the kind of uh, content that you absorb during your JC life that might help you in uni lah. So uh, if you want to take things around like uh, sociology or global science studies, political all this right, uh, you can consider taking GP and econs. Okay, so GP I mean of course is essay writing skills lah. Econs as well. But the thing about econs is that when you study all these like global studies, political science right, you also want to know how government for. Uh, policies and all this impact the economy because uh, government one uh, very important goal of the government's uh, role right, is to actually boost uh, like maintain the economy for society la. so um, I feel that economics is a very important skill to have in this it's not like you don't take economics you cannot go in la, but it just be helpful to take in JC yeah so uh, I think we show you the the requisites the prerequisites for those la. so you get a rough idea from there yeah so uh, yeah Anything else for uh from you to answer uh to talk about this actually? Mm. Uh, there are more questions that I can answer them now. Yeah, no. I think I think I will I'll go off now. Okay, sure. Yeah, I can okay, should I I'll... pass the host to you? Okay, again, yeah, you can pass the host to me. Because yeah, I... I also really need to pee. Oh yes, me too. But it's okay, yeah, answer the question. Yeah. <laughs> okay, okay, yeah. Then I'll see me. everyone else as in yeah. See you around, Max. Yes, no problem. See you around. Thank you so much, uh Charlene. Okay, okay, yeah. Uh anyway, so for those of you all that are left here, well, how do I see how many people left? Uh, 50. Yeah. Okay, anyway, uh let me just open my chat box first. Wow, this the whole thing. Yeah. Anyway, um, so y'all can see my screen of uh the uh the indicative grade, sorry, the prerequisites for this, right? Okay, uh, I'll just continue to answer some more questions. Uh, I think I stopped around 9 yeah, just now here. Okay, uh let me see. Uh. Is econs very important? I think you can't answer this question just now. Like, it's not necessary to take, but um, it's good to have because it's a, it's a very good skill to have when you grow up as an adult. And if you're considering taking all those government, like polit political science, all that are good to have. Okay. Um, biochem and math H2 theory. Okay. I think it's a direct message. Uh, should I aim for above or below my L1, R5? Okay. Uh, so your. I don't really understand this question, but I, if you're talking about JC, I, whether you should go for a better JC or you should go for a. Uh, JC that is like uh, lower than your L1 R5, right? Uh, depends on you again. Is the is whether you like to you you perform better if you are better than everyone or you perform better if you are same as everyone, right? So if you perform better when you shine, right? When you are better than everyone, obviously you go for the one that is like you you score eight points and you go some not like SAJC that kind of right? But if you score eight points and you choose to go VJ, ah, uh, that's where you're like average and like everyone's same as you, right? Uh, then uh, you 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 are in different environment, uh. So I do know of some uh, some of my students, right? They very stressed, uh, I tell you. They go there, uh, they score A for every day, not everything, uh, they score A for like some of the subjects, right? Then it's still very sad because all the classmates are scoring A for more things right, and getting even higher than them. So if you're either a uh, diamond high at the school, so if you feel like uh you are you, you don't perform well, you crack under stress very easily, uh, and then you go there also, like you encounter this sort of thing. Uh, but you don't have this problem, everyone gets C already, uh, just, uh, they pass everything and they're very happy, already, right? So by the way, uh, um, when you go to JC, uh, the first exam you want to take, uh, or maybe the second, the mid years, uh, uh, it's not very rare to see a very drastic drop in your grades. For example, if let's say your AMF and EMF are very good in set 4, for example, you'll get like 80, 90 for that, for set 4, right? Then uh, suddenly you'll go to JC, how come my mid year is like fail? Yeah, it's, it's not as rare as you think, okay? It's quite, it's quite, I won't say normal, uh, please don't do it, like, try, try best to study, like, but uh, so don't be too disheartened by that. Don't think, oh, I need to drop out of JC. No, uh, you can study. So I do know a lot of friends that uh, like although that whatever very good, they go JC, they they like they screw up a lot lah. Then after that, um, uh, the mid years not very good, but towards the end, towards JC two, they start backing up and study a lot, and they did well in year lah. So it's possible. 
don't be disheartened at your first result in GC because it's very normal to uh to drop a lot lah. Okay. Uh yeah. Anyway, um, do you think it's better to take four H two or three H two and one H one? Uh, personally, uh, I feel uh, I'm uh, I feel it's logical uh, to take three H two and one H one. Okay, at least my own opinion. Uh, please, uh, your own opinion. Uh, I mean, yeah, everyone has their own opinion. So why? Uh, because uh, four H two, uh, you're taking more subject, right? And you're still getting ninety one points. So imagine you four H two and you get everything A versus you three H two and you get everything A, right? Which are easier to do? Definitely the change tool, right? Now. But of course, if you have the capacity to do it, right? Then you go take first tool. But I mean, for, for me, I feel I I I trace two, I get 90 end points, the more important thing, right? You if you take first two and you take trace two, uh, let's say the trace two person, uh, I get 90 end point. But a first two person, uh, because of the last H2, uh, I cannot drag down and get 85. The, the, then I get full marks. So of course you'll see the 90 end point. Like this guy take first two, so what? I trace two at uh, 90 end point, uh, right? Now. So I feel that trace two is definitely easier to get 90 end point. Uh, or is that last H2, uh, last H2 subject? Okay, but yeah, that being said, capacity, if you have the capacity bending to take, you can take, uh, you can try anything along the way. You feel that uh, you feel uncomfortable with one subject, uh, you can drop. So the good thing about first two is that if you let's say now uh, you're unsure whether hey, I take PCME, physics, chemistry, econs, maths, then should you, you don't know which one to take a stage one, right? You, uh, you don't know which one are bad yet. Because you also don't know econs, right? Econs, you don't know whether you're good or bad yet. You can take forest two first, then find the econs very fun, then you drop something else. Or if you don't want to drop, you take forest two to A levels, also can, right? But you feel suddenly that, hey, econs are not very good. Okay, I drop econs. Ah, so this is a good part of forest two. You have a uh, freedom of choice, right? Towards the end of uh, JC one, you can you can uh, decide lah. Right, that, that's the good thing about forest two. Uh, yeah. So uh, for me, I took forest two first. So I I told the story. I took PCME that I dropped chem in the end. Actually, I thought I wanted to drop econs. You know, cause my, I'm not an SA person. I'm a math person. And I thought econs bad. But in a while, I dropped chem. So you see, it's like this kind of unforeseen things, right? It might happen. So if you are capable to take forest two, you think okay, I'm up for it. I'll try a challenge. Right? You can take lah. No harm taking in J one. If you fail, then just drop off right now. So you have the um. Yeah, you have this buffer. Like, okay, yeah. So when considering JC, uh, next question, uh, should we uh, consider that uh, average RP of the school? Uh, uh, average RP, yes, I think it does count indirectly affect, no matter how much people say it depends on how the individual is. Uh, uh, average RP does affect the crowd in the school. Uh, so like what, what kind of people end up in the school and everything, uh, who you'll be around with, your friends and everything. So uh, yes, it's important, but... Um, I feel that that only makes up about 40% of uh, the significance. The 60% is all up to you. Uh, okay? okay, I think most of you are left behind all answering the chats at the bottom. Uh, so I'll just go to the bottom and say quickly. A bit conflicted bit, uh, from Tanvi. I'm a bit conflicted between CJC and GPJC. I can enter both, but a bit skeptical about the science for CJC since it has a lower cutoff, shouldn't be better. Uh, okay, so CJC, right? Um, personally, uh, it has a lower cutoff, yes, but a lot of people that go there uh, are affiliated from affiliated schools so basically they minus four so technically uh, the curve uh, is like you know like about there so uh yeah we so those people from like St. Pets right uh KC all the Catholic schools like uh, SGI all that they, they think that uh, uh I mean they, they, let's say if let's say they did uh, like okay for O levels right they can minus four uh, so basically if CJC the curve is 13 right they get 17, they can go in already. Like. So technically, it's the same as JP. Like, if you're affiliated. So uh, I would say that uh, if you're worried about the average rank point, uh, I, I, sorry, average rank point, average L1, R5, all that, right? Uh, I think that it is um, about the same, like, CJ and JP. But I would say that CJ is more accessible because it's in the center of Singapore. So wherever you stay, right? Uh, CJ, I think CJC equals in middle especially. It's, a lot of buses from SA go there. It's quite close to SA, like, actually. Yeah, so um so just now there's one question, uh rank average rank point of the um JC. Uh yeah, so I think average rank point of JC, right? Um average rank point of JC, I think uh, it does depend on the individual uh, because um like you can be in a you can be like CJC but get 90 rank points is possible. Of course, it's uh less frequent uh, to see that uh, but um it's still possible. Uh. Of course, if you so that means if you go to like very good schools, Hua Chong and all that, right? And uh, you don't expect to get 91 points, you know. Although a lot of the core get 91 points, but that's because you study a lot, right? If you go to CJ with that mentality, right, you also can get 91 points, right? Now. So, uh, I mean, of course, there's the crowd around you that affects which that 40% that I talk about. Lah. So, uh, I mean, there are people from Hua Chong. I know a person from Hua Chong, she got 82.5 rank points. I'm from SAJC, I got 87, uh, yeah, 87 rank points. Lah. So, I mean, it kind of just depends how much you study by yourself, how much, how independent you are. So I think the main difference between secondary school and JC is really that independence and discipline that you have. Because, uh, yeah. Okay. Um, okay, let's go to the next question. Uh, okay, wait, hold on. 
Yeah. How do you uh, how do you apply for DSA in science research for JC? Uh? What is DSA for science research in JC? Uh? Uh, well, I'm not very sure for this question of uh, science research for JC. Uh, but if I'm not on the DSA period, it's not over anymore. It's like last year already, right? I think. Yeah. So uh sorry, I can't I can't really answer this question for you. Uh, so science research, right? Okay, uh next question. ACJC or SCJC a more uh School environment. Okay. Um. Personally, yeah, I SCJC like bias as well as SCJC. Uh, SCJC because um, I mean, like the people are just from I, I guess more like all over the place like. ACJC also, but uh, okay like, I from what I see like, my batch ah, my batch ACJC the people is more like a lot of like uh like kind of like the popular kids in Singapore ah. some of them will go ACJC ah. Uh, that's for my batch. Uh. So, so like you, of course, your batch, uh, you have like some uh, popular clique that the whole Singapore, like popular people that the whole Singapore know. Uh, like, uh, like, so th th that kind of crowd is in ACJC, at least for my batch. Uh, they are both uh, about like, they are kind of like substitutes for each other. So at this stage, if you really just consider things to everything else, like culture, everything are okay, right? Then maybe you can look at distance. Uh. Yeah. Um, like, yeah, that's, that's, uh, I say that. So, warm, uh, warm school environment, I would say SCJC. It's really like a family. Uh, like, the teachers are also very, very nice. ACJC, I can't say much because I didn't go there, uh, right? Yeah. So, uh, yeah, that's all I have to say about that. Okay. You don't need to take Manatang A level. Uh, yes, Manatang A level. Yes, you take lah. Uh, okay. Uh, so, Manatang A levels, uh, you all need to take, uh, okay. So, uh, just now someone asked how would it uh, okay, not someone asked uh, but it will it might affect your rank points but even if it does it's not a lot okay so I can explain now let's just go here like, and just say like, roughly so uh, how does um, mother tongue affect your uh, rank point it will still be about 100 so mother tongue is a H1 subject right so it's 10 points but it will still affect your uh, subject okay so uh, your rank points in the sense that okay think about it like, if let's say you get nine, uh, you get A for your mother tongue right so it's plus 10 rank points right so 90 plus 10 so if you come 100 right they will times 0 0.9 to round it uh, like, from 0 0.9 to get it back to 90. So if that score makes your current score without mother tongue better, then uh, you will, they'll add on to your score. So basically, if your mother tongue, you add on to your score already, right, it makes your rank point better, right? Then they'll add, then it will affect your score uh, to become better. But if you add on to your score, it makes it worse, uh, then they won't take it. That, that's how mother tongue affects, though. Yeah. So uh, okay, as to exact figures I mentioned just now, but you might not have gotten it. So basically, it's just, if you add on, and it's better, it makes your rank point better, right? Okay, basically they plus 10, then times 0 0.9, because plus 10 becomes 100, times 0 0.9, back to 90. So if it makes your rank point better, then uh, they'll add it. If it doesn't, then they won't add it. Lah. That's how it affects. Yeah, so you do need to take it. Uh, if you take CLB, uh, you need to pass CLB, like this all. Yeah, story. Okay, CLB is, uh, mother tongue is only year one. So you don't take mother tongue through JC2. Yeah, so JC1, you take all the subjects and PW, project work, and mother tongue. This, uh, these two extra stuff. Lah. So JC2, if you fail mother tongue, you take JC2. Lah. So usually everyone like, will pass. Lah. So if they pass, they're happy already. Lah. Yeah. Okay, uh, so uh, MTA level is J1. Yes, I just addressed that. Uh, okay, wait. Ah. Oh, not so many questions. But, uh, what is the max uh, bonus point you can minus? Uh, I think max bonus point, I don't think uh, six. Lah, technically, six. Uh, two CCA. Two affiliation and two high mother tongue, so six of yeah. Uh, SAJC average RP ah, uh, I'm not sure. You need to you need to call the school and ask them uh, SAJC average RP. But okay, I think it's about seventy something. So seventy something about ninety. So uh, okay, I I would say I can give you a rough idea of the average RP uh. Um, Hua Chong RI is about eighty five. 86, 87 or that. So close, very close to 90, 80. So the average rank point in the school is so that high. Then for uh schools like SEJC is around 70. SEJC 70, uh JP, uh, no, not JP, ASR is also around, I think, 80s, high 70s or like that. But you talk about like um CJC, JPJC, maybe it's low 70s, I think. Yeah, I'm not wrong. Lah. Yeah. Of course, you have outliers that score very high, lah. So you doesn't mean you go to uh, like uh, like it doesn't mean you go to uh, JC where the average RP is low, right? Then you score very low, lah. it's how high you study. Okay. okay? Um, six points, yeah. So, the maximum point you can manage is six. Uh, let me see, uh, what other questions you have? Uh, from when parade, but ASRJC is 20 minutes closer than SCJC, even with 966. So, which is better? Uh, okay, so Gail, you asked this question, right? I, I do it from AMA, lah, okay, but um, uh, if you okay, so you can just use Google Maps and check, okay. Uh, this one, uh, I've never been to ASRJC before, but you use Google Maps and check, uh, you see how, um, like what's the different part? Because I think ASRJC you might need to take train. So I don't really like taking train in the morning. Uh, so I don't like that. Uh, so uh culture-wise, I think SCJC is better, personally speaking. Uh, so uh you you can decide based on that. Uh, um yeah. 
Okay, so you can check Google Maps and see the route. Okay, if that's the only thing you're considering, of course there are other factors, but culture-wise, I think SCJC better. So yeah, that's the answer there. Okay. Uh if you uh yeah, should you try to go to a JC with a similar culture as your secondary school? Uh okay, honestly, it doesn't really matter. Like, you go to whatever culture, you'll get used to it one. Lah. So um the other thing, uh, it wasn't a big consideration for me um, because I was from boys' school, uh, then I go to uh, JC uh, mixed school, uh, then very different, uh, but what to do, right? There's no boys' JC school, right? Yeah, so uh, anyway, the culture, like I was from St. Pets, the culture wasn't a very like, okay, uh, we, are, we are proud to say I'm from St. Pets, but I don't think the school spirit is very strong, uh, anyway. So, uh, but SCJC is totally different, uh, SCJC spirit is so strong and everything. I liked it, uh, so I think it's not a very